The opening ceremonies were earlier, but now the building is all but full here, and so it's a little different emotion as you make your way onto the ice for these opening games. First draw of the Scotties. Here are the games on the ice on cheat day. Jill Shume from Maidstone, Saskatchewan, opens against Kerry Galusher from Yellowknife. Stacey Devereaux makes her second appearance, going against, as we say, one of the favorites here, Rachel Holman of Ottawa. From the Charlottetown Curling Complex, Prince Edward Island, Suzanne Burke goes against Jennifer Jones from the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg. Kathy Goche will be with us all week. She'll be keeping our, uh, her eye on some of the other games. Hello, Kathy. Hey there, Vic. Well, for this afternoon, I'm really going to keep an eye on Ontario's game in Manitoba. Jennifer Jones has a history of coming out of the Scotties and starting very slow. The field is so deep this year, that is not something she can afford to do. I'll keep you posted. Well, it's time to meet the teams. Our featured game is Canada and New Brunswick. Hi, I'm Heather Nedowin, skip of Team Canada. At lead is Lainey Peters, second Jessica Mayer. At third is Beth Iskew, and we curl out of the Savile Centre in Edmonton, Alberta. Hi, I'm Andrea Crawford, skip of Team New Brunswick. At lead is Jody DeSola, at second is Danielle Parsons, at third is Rebecca Atkinson, and we curl out of the Gage Golf and Curling Club in Armockdale, New Brunswick. And meeting the teams has been brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 19 years. And it will be Team Canada throwing the red stones. They do have the last rock here in this opening end of play. New Brunswick will play the yellow. Andrea Crawford in her sixth appearance makes her way out, puts the brush down, and we're ready to begin this 2013 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts from Kingston and Jody DeSola. It will be interesting to see the Nadouin team this year. Remembering back to last year, right at the beginning of the Scotties, it was still as though the team was working on strategy. There was Heather wanting to go with her instinct and wanting to call the game a certain way, and the rest of the team, especially third Beth Iskew, trying to pull her back a little bit and maybe be a little more conservative. I think over the course of the last season and then the beginning of this season, they've ironed that out. Yeah, no question about it, and uh, represented so well at the World Championship. But didn't win it, but uh, scared all the teams along the way. It, it's, but this, you know, when you're wearing that Team Canada, it's like a bullseye on your back, and it's going to be interesting to see, as we mentioned at the top, it's such a uh, intense field, so many good teams that uh, you know, if you get up that little extra for Team Canada, it could be, uh, could be tough to make the playoffs for Heather. Yes. Nine. Little roll your way, Jeff. Nicely done. So it looks like we may go up and down the sheet here in this opening end. I'm always a little conflicted here when we talk about Team Canada and whether in fact the more pressure on you if you're trying to win this, Linda, this event, the Scotties, to become the Canadian champion or face the pressure of being the Canadian champion as she did in Lethbridge. I think the world championships are very tough. The rest of the world looks to Canada, no matter if they know your name or not, they see the Maple Leaf and they know that this team is going to be good and they play well against you. It's never easy at a Scotties. We have a great field here, but uh, I think Heather's team is ready for this. They look very calm, cool, and collected. I think this is a good start for her as far as strategy goes. You don't have to go crazy in your first game. There's a lot of learning to do out there. They've seen the ice in practice, but it could change a little bit. And speaking of the ice, uh, Mark Sherrick and his team have done a wonderful job. Sometimes we, we see the percentage is very low day one or game one where there's, uh, they're getting used to the temperatures, how much they nip the ice and how much they uh, cool the building down. But this looks perfect right off the bat. The hot shots, everybody's making shots. The practices look good. And uh, I think there's going to be a very quick adjustment period here for all the athletes. Well, the other thing is, too, the opening ceremonies as we come to you here about 10 past yes, yes, yes. Go. two Eastern time. Go, the opening Gotta ceremonies go. were at 10 this morning. Really then they had the Ford Hot Shots competition. Go, 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 now there's the majority of the people are here now. So that's likely to have its effect too, right, Russ? Oh, no question about it. It's That's the part of the guessing game for Mark and the crew is what temperature do you set the ice at because as the people come in the body heat yes, starts to raise the temperature maybe as much as two full Fahrenheit yeah. degrees and that can make a big difference to the surface. This uh, K-Rock Center will uh, celebrate its fifth anniversary in a couple of weeks. It seats uh, about 5,700. It's home of the Kingston Frontenacs of the Ontario Hockey, Hockey League. Round, guys. 
And I don't care how many times you've been to a national championship. The first few days are very no, 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 tough. No, no, no. There is practice time. There are things, obligations that you have to meet. And uh, it is difficult to get your head into that first game it's still whirling a bit over all the other things that have happened. So sometimes you'll see a little bit of an open start like this one, which I think is also a good idea. So what do you think the game plan might be for these two? Well, I think for Heather Nedewin, not bad to start open, but I think with Hammer, be aggressive. And Beth Eskew curled so well last week, or last year rather, emphasized her shots. For New Brunswick, play it more open, play it a little more cautious. Andrea Crawford in the past, her career draw percentage is only 71%. That's okay if you're playing hits, but eventually she'll have to save a shot here or there, have to make a key draw. She needs to find that weight first. The game plan brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. To that point, Linda, I've watched Andrea for years, obviously from New Brunswick, and she's an incredible drawer. So I think what's happened is that she's either skipped herself into a mess or the team hasn't supported her enough, and the, the front's been so cluttered that some of those draws were very high degree of difficulty. You and I have talked about this before, but somehow as teams move through levels in the country Whoa. from their local area to the regional to, to their provincial or territorial and then on to the nationals, right to room, right they somehow room, think they there. need to be Two, different. Yep, it and it's very hard to be tactically different and yep, get performances out of your players who are down the other end wondering what you're doing. Good. You can't be suddenly a different team or a different player. So I think you have to be a little careful okay. that you don't win your province. You in the case of Andrea, you already told us how well she played and played fairly open and suddenly come to this championship and think you need to put up 10 guards. Yeah, great point. It's, it's, uh, you have to go with the, what got you here. And uh, historically, uh, in New Brunswick, they played in a curling club somewhere, which is always straight, and it is a big adjustment period here. Okay. This time, New Brunswick went to the arena format for the men and the ladies put two, the two uh, events together. And I think it's, it's going to be great for both uh, James Grattan in the case of the men's team and Andrea here that uh, they're uh, used to that arena setting, and there's not as big an adjustment. Yeah, I like 14. Yeah. 14 and a half is good. So a wide open end, but a wide open mistake. So a great right. chance for Heather Nedewin without having to take any risk at all. Got the go corner guard up, and now they can play the draw. And I'll go with uh, Beth Iskew. Remember now it is Team Canada playing the Redstones. It does have the last rock here in this opening end of play, opening day. Got round. First draw with the Scotties. Line's nice. Easy line. Stay with it. Marin Peters in their first bit of uh, hard brushing. Gotta go. Hard Boy, if they could just get this oh. around and know. So you know what? That's what yeah, it is. I'm thinking and it'll chip totally. and roll Ready? and yeah. just grab the top of the 12. What, it's that rock? Moves. Talking about the stone maybe having a little extra curl to it. They could not hold it. But it'll be interesting to see how they move the corner guard around a lot because that was relatively mm -hmm. tight to center and a little hard sometimes to come off center line and get by. It only took about three feet of ice there. I thought it just felt a little tight to me. This fresh pebble in that spot. Most uh, curlers in practice draw to the button, so that spot center line out would not, would not have been warmed up yet. And uh, perfect speed. It's too bad they didn't take a little more ice there. Banged it right on the nose. Nice shot. I like that. Okay. I like this. Yeah. Okay. Control weight. Oh, all right. Fish Two options right here. You could go around the corner, which is pretty uh, tempting when you've uh, thrown it perfectly. We just need, Beth just needed a little more ice. You would have made it. And, uh, but this is a dangerous. New Brunswick rock just in front of the center line. Okay, well, talk to me about that because that's what I would have thought. You just get, you, she just had the little rub, so she could have probably made the adjustment, gone around the corner. So let's play it through. You go around the corner. What does New Brunswick then do with that center stone? Well, if, if you can't get at the corner, the rock is buried. If it's if uh, Beth managed to bury it perfectly, uh, you'd probably see Andrea play the come around that yellow one, and the that's why uh, Heather ended up hitting it because if, if that scenario played out, Andrea buries it perfectly. She's on the button with a, with a buried rock, so I think she just want to take the chance in number one. No one got curl over there. Yeah. There's still a chance to come around that rock, but it is Heather Nedewin's guard out in front now, and that could be run in and successfully run in a couple of different ways to leave a rock in good position. That's why we say sometimes, Linda, isn't it, that there's more than one right answer. The come around was the right answer, and the, the hit's a right answer. It's just execution after that. 
Hands great. Might have five, six. Might have you know that the other team, sorry, Russ yeah. have also scouted and knows that Andrea has wonderful hitting abilities and maybe a little weaker on her draw, mm -hmm. so they might want to push her to make the big shot well, and see how that all pans out. Waiting and waiting here, trying to get some curl. They're going to have to go to keep it alive here. And they'll leave it top. 12 fully open. You know, of all the things we talked about with regards to Heather Nedowin and the team and watching her over the course of last year in the world, and she said to us, one of the things that she's trying to rein in a little bit is her own enthusiasm. Maybe you threw here in practice. What did you throw? I mean, right. I mean, she, she can get a little bit out there and just start bouncing around. and. There comes a point when you go, does it hurt you? But at the same time, you don't want to do so much as to, to influence your game. It's an interesting word you used, enthusiasm. We love her spirit, but sometimes what gets her into trouble is the fact that she's almost spinning out there and her head isn't clear enough to get into that hack and make the big shot. And that's why I love Beth Iskew at the other end. She's provided that calming influence and that little conscience about the other shot you could call. Yeah, it's a great combination. Get the inside flip. Okay, okay. No. Have to keep an eye on Andrea's brushing there. They, uh, she actually threw the right shot, and they, they kept waiting for it to curl, waiting for it to curl, because in most surfaces Andrea plays on, there isn't that much nice curl. Throw, Heather. In mm. hindsight, they could have brushed that all the way down and uh, had a little more finish with another foot or two of speed, and it would have been half buried. Nine and a half. Just knows it. Okay. He knows it in the end? Nope. But get saves from the split. Interesting. They're a little worried about playing the hit and roll. If they roll out, there will be a split opportunity, albeit a tough one, yes. for a possible yes. two no, for Team no, Canada. No, 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 no. Final stone, Andrea Crawford. To Sola, no. Parsons, just with a light dust. Jody, roll it on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice and they do roll it on just to catch the top edge of the 12. We don't need to go. It's a straight spot. Yeah. Everybody's just that little bit, you know, enthusiastic. Hey, the the blood's pumping, and you, you want to brush everything. Just a normal. Hey. Uh, first end of the first game is always tough. They'll settle down very quickly, both of these teams with experience. But silly, as okay, I said, it doesn't go. matter Let's how many times you come here. You see minute. those stands, you see what's at stake, and it's really hard to just stay calm. And come up it did. Pushes it out the back for a blank in his opening end. Yeah. Team Canada, the defending champions, New Brunswick. Yeah. That's our feature in draw one. Eight, three. The 2013 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group. Creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG by Tim Hortons. Thank you for making us Canada's favorite coffee. And by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Our first update, Prince Edward Island against Manitoba, Kathy. Well, in our first one, Suzanne Bird had a great chance to make a double, only got one, and that's that yellow stone on the 12-foot she rolled away. Jennifer buried perfectly, so it's a draw, full four-foot for four. the one in this first hand. Full four. Mine's good. Suzanne Burt. Mine's good. All yours. In her seventh okay. appearance. Shelly Bradley managing the house. Sarah Fullerton, Leslie McDougal, the front end. There's one and there's two. Needs a good chunk of the button. Gets the little rub to take the steam out. And just hold on, PEI will pick up the single in the opening again against Manitoba and Jennifer Jones. Saskatchewan and the debut for Jill Shume from Maidstone, which is oh northeast, northwest, I guess, up north Lloyd Minster, Saskatchewan, and Ontario. And Rachel Holman open with a deuce against uh, Stacy Devereaux from the Ballyhaley Curling Club in St. John's. 
On this Saturday afternoon, we welcome you back to Kingston, the 2013 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. We're at the K-Rock Center. And after the blank, Team Canada once again has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red stones here in two. A 12 foot stone was the first one played by New Brunswick, corner guard and then center guard, very long Yellowstone out in front. I'm not sure that that will have a lot of consequence in this end with the amount of curl we have. It overcurled too, Linda, which allowed a wide open hit for uh, Team Canada. And that, uh, you're right, that guard's way out there. And it's uh, with this much finish, it's almost uh, almost could be kicked to the boards. Do you ever look back? Yeah, yeah. Little, and I know you play house. these yeah. mini games and Hard. 10 ends and you look at every end individually. Whoa. But if you yeah. are Heather Nedowin yeah. realizing yeah. what you just saw yeah. happen, yeah. and I realize that shots dictate what yeah. you're going to do. And there's the roll across, and Eight. it'll pop out the other side into that the hole. Do you think that she regrets not going yeah. around that corner yeah. now like with the I second guess. shot of Beth, yes. Beth Iskew? Well, yeah. or do you ever look back like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, I always did. <laughs> That's why I have no hair. <laughs> the, 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 uh, like, like I said in the, an end ago, both shots were correct, so you okay. can't beat yourself up about it. That's that's job number one. But I, I th would have been tempted to do it because Beth was throwing again. She knew the spot. The brushers knew the spot. And you only get so many chances with Hammer to score a two, and that was a great opportunity. But it was not wrong what she did. Jessica Mayer go through the go, hole go, go, go. and tried to jump it behind her own. This is a nice setup, though, for our Team Canada. They have the two guards in play, and at the moment, low risk once more. We're talking about first game, remember? Some nerves out there, figuring out the ice. So lots of opportunity here for Heather to use those stones, and the rock that is in the house is just in the 12th hole. Danielle Parsons. Hard, go, 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 go. Great sweep. And great sweep indeed by uh, Rebecca Atkinson and Jody DeSola. Just to hold it enough to make contact. Yep, sorry. Uh, All the misses so far for New Brunswick have been on the low side. The guard overcurled by Jody's. They'd won uh, wreck uh, by uh, okay, and a half. Yep. Rebecca in the first and around the corner guard that po possibly set up the deuce. And there's another uh, overcurl. And uh, that's just so standard for an Eastern team. Just getting used to that big sweep on this ice, that big aggressive rocks, a big curl. Lines good. You know, it's a curious thing, Linda, because it's not like they're new. You could say New Brunswick and Crawford know it. They know it's going to be here. They know it's going to do that. Without being too harsh, shouldn't they be right on the money out of the gate? They should be able to make the adjustment, uh, similar to what I was saying about strategy, how you don't want to change instantly when you come to this level to be something you're not. Your delivery also has to take into account the fact that you're aiming to be here. And a lot of the throws that we see from teams that are used to straight ice are different. And they have to realize that if you're going to aim for this, you have to try and go somewhere to find ice mm -hmm. with swing Excellent. and have a release that allows the rock to travel a little straight to start and not break till about the three-quarter pole. That's when the brushers can hold it. Just a four! Just a four! Oh, Lovely come around by uh, Jessica four. Mayer as now they'll go around the center we guard, New Brunswick. And we talked about that as the exact situation you pointed out uh, last end, back. They didn't go around uh, with uh, Heather's... Uh, she elected to hit with the... Uh, Close guard, the tight guard. Now, because his guard is so long, she made the aggressive move going around the corner. It's a bad setup for New Brunswick because that guard's so long, there's very little chance she can bury one properly. Here we go. Six, five. Okay. A little further. 15, I think. 14 and a half, 15. You know, further to what you were saying about going somewhere. Just go like to this. play on swingier ice. Did you not, Russ, get some ice makers come in and to try to make ice that you might see at the Briars? Oh, for sure. I brought uh, my good friend Shorty Jenkins down, who's probably the best ice maker that ever lived three times. We're from this area, by the way. And um, Shorty's taught and passed his knowledge on to all these great uh, people like Mark Sherrick and Hans Wittrich and 
We are blessed in Canada with some of the best ice, well, the best ice conditions for sure. But uh, but he would come down to a club and try to make yeah. something similar to what you're going to see. Exactly, and that you're right. That's the key. It's just like uh, no different than any other sport. You want to train on the conditions you're going to be playing on. You, know, you see that more out west where the uh, the ice is very similar to this, or if you play in the big events. And the, that's what Andrea needs to do a little bit more, in my opinion. It, yeah, it's tough yeah, financially, but yeah, if she could get on the gold trail and play in the big spiels, uh, that would make them that little bit better. Linda, interesting call, I thought, because initially it was as Heather wanted to come around with the outturn and maybe come to the forefoot and then elected to play this shot instead. It's still a conservative approach, but I don't mind it. As we talked about earlier, Heather Nedowin's team got into trouble last Scotties in the first few games, just did not have their A game. And now she's going to take a little bit of time and make sure they're ready before they play anything too aggressively. Still, the rock that's in the house is buried, and it is up to New Brunswick to figure out how to get out of this mess. New Brunswick will play the hit first. They think they think a little bit more defensively. You know, having uh, Charlie Sullivan as their coach, also uh, Charlie was famous for throwing the high hard one. Very accurate hitter. Uh, won a lot of games uh, playing a, a defensive style. So Andrew's going to hit this rock, even though it is in the rings. Well, we talk about the setup shots for teams as they try and get this to make good contact. Wow. But if we think back to Leeds Rocks, the fact that the first two stones for New Brunswick were just top 12, and then that very long guard, that puts you into a bad mm -hmm. position to start. If the guard was tighter and the house looked as it does right now, they could draw around it potentially and get this end out of the good position that's in for Team Canada. This is a wonderful position for Beth. Low risk again. Nothing's again. cluttering. That guard is so long, there, so they can draw to the other side okay. to sit two. Deeper is better than short. Right to T, girls. He's 14-8. Right to T. 14-8. Right to T. Nicely done. Nice brush. Good sweep. Good sweep, girl. All right, nice show. Nice, well, there is Mark Shurik, the uh, head ice maker, and uh, he has, uh, of course, it's all become so computerized now with uh, uh, sensors in all parts of the ice. He knows exactly what all the sheets are doing in terms of their temperature. Okay. It's become that exact in making the, uh, the ice for the Canadian Championships and, in fact, World Championships, too. No choice here for Andrea to hit uh, the enemy rock here. He can't get out the other one. It's buried. So try to hit and stay. Yep, a little firm. Yep, yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Okay. Go back. Well up. No, I got nine no. too. It just, it looked like it was a hair in, but not a lot. It was a good throw, a good intern throw. Yeah, no, I agree. And then as soon as we started sweeping it, it just. Because? Because it was a nine two, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. One thing about arena ice is there are dramatic differences in the curl between all the different weights and even in a hit. If you throw a nine yes. second hit versus a 10 second okay. hit, the 10 they're second fine. obviously yeah, being fine. that much slower has a lot more curl and then Control. moving up to something like hack weight. And you do have to be a little careful in that outside in shot that you don't take too much ice if you're throwing the up weight. Up. Heather Nedowin had her first clean, skip stone. Easy, clean. Yep. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Yep. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Just clean. Yep. 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 Hold it right there. Good. Just hit two. Girl, nice show. Heather's nice delivery looks solid as ever. Very consistent player. Uh, throws for high numbers. And uh, that was a simple shot, but you had to hang around. Nine sevens. You know, we often say how difficult it is for Team Canada to repeat, but 
when you just take a look at the turn of the century from 2000 well, on, and Team Canada, Linda, has done very well. well. The Jones girls have had a lot to do with that. Colleen Jones and Jennifer Jones accounting for five of those wins. Kelly Scott, the other one, but uh, it's a great position to be in. Boy, getting a buyback, not having to fight your way through all those great teams in the province or territory. It's fantastic. Looks like it just hung on. I think so. A little spin that back, really as these stones that. often do. Sense. Yeah, that one. Okay, so we need an inside flop. We nosed it. So if we take this, we should get an inside flop. Hey? I think so, yeah. Okay. Same weight. Ten. And these ones are the scary ones. More often than not, you would rather be playing the other turn because it feels more natural to roll towards the middle, playing from the inside. We just see that the outside in turn is often straighter, and that's why they feel it's a little more consistent. Oh, we didn't even know it. Like, we were on the outside of it. I just mean it didn't break at all like I thought. All right, let's go, Hooch. Good throw here. Thank you, Ken, Heather. So a chance for a couple here in the second final stone team Canada the defending champions Heather Netto and out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton Lee. whoa across the nose just got a little clean. inside flip there it is two red. sitting two, two red. Go. the defending two champions two are on the board <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue with our updates on this opening draw against Ontario after they scored de deuce in the first. Ontario leads 2 nothing. Final stone, Newfoundland Labrador, and this is Stacy Devereaux. She made a good shot on her first one, so Rachel Holman elected to hit and roll in. Had to be really careful. She almost set up the double. But instead, she's given her the nose hit. That would concede a point. Yeah, the stone top edge of the four makes it 3 nothing now for Ontario out of the Ottawa Curling Club. Prince Edward Island scored a single in the first against Manitoba. And uh, there you see that one stone just there, T-line, that red stone. That belongs to Manitoba. She tried to come through the hole for a possible two. Well, she is. Suzanne Bird on her final stone was trying to draw a shot rock. She is short, but in that process of being short in the 12 foot kind of yeah. closed that oh. path down for Jennifer. Oh. Oh. From the St. Fidel yeah. Curling Club in Winnipeg, Jennifer Jones. Familiar Jill officer Don Askin, Caitlin Laws. This is going through the hole, and then it just breaks late and spins off its one and a one-one tie Manitoba PEI. And Saskatchewan with uh, Jill Shume in her Scotty's debut picks up two in the second to lead Kerry Galusha out of the Yellowknife Curling Club as we welcome you back to Kingston. So the defending champions Team Canada and Heather Nedowin pick up two. And so it will be New Brunswick right, let's go, Jess. that has the last rock. They have the hammer here in three out of yeah. the Gage Golf and Curling Club in Oromocto. That's a great place, isn't it? It is. Is that your favorite? Could be. Could be. <laughs> Nine and a half. Nine and a half. And we'll hear lots more yep. at the yes. Briar, too. With Something to look forward to. Ah! With uh, James, uh, Heart! Heart! not a kid anymore, Grattan. <laughs> great day for. Uh, great, nice line it's been a great year for the yes. for the gauge. I have air. First two stones at the end were played in by Heather yeah. Nedowin, showing us once more she's very comfortable playing this kind of game, a little more open style against New Brunswick. Just made that hit to get it by the shot stone, but did not roll in. So a couple of guards out in front. Heather has left for Andrea Crawford to work with. Buried here. Very nice. That filled a lot down the center line. Keep an, keep an eye on that spot. It uh, finished very well. That, that was almost more than normal weight. Okay. 
are we trying normal here? I like normal. Just we know Daniel the line Parsons with normal with here, the hit I think. And roll behind. Jessica Mayer will try and run it back. Nine! Nine. Whoa! No, no, no. no. Just a bit. little over emotion on the release there. It's interesting because the conversation from up. Jessica Come before she threw Come was up, she baby. thought that was too much weight. <laughs> Good. But she makes it. Sometimes you have to be careful. You, after you say that, you have to make sure you get the positive back in your mind. There was nothing wrong with the weight. Light, but the it was ice nine. was very tight. It was it's okay. Just it came down. You've got to get back to that positive thought and trust that broom. What? Nice Best job. Got the job okay. done very well. See how much this one curls again. And Andrew is giving about a 12 inches of ice here. Usually in arena conditions, it hey, takes a while across yes, that line. Yes! What is it? Heart! What's the weight? Yes! Heart! Atkinson on the left is hold on the right. And they'll roll it away. I didn't hear the weight. I was trying to ask what it Oh, was. we're saying same, but. Okay. Well, 9-6. Trying to draw the play over to the corner guard. You'd think they'd draw hit and roll behind the red, but that's dangerous to run that red back. Plus, Canada just made it. So, drawing that play away from the center line is a great idea when you have hammer. Spun back. By over sweeping it, she means they so held the line and so it hit it too thinly. Guard. Yeah, just brushed it what? a little too much to keep here the line the that hair straighter, hit it too thin. And, yep. and it, it, you really have to be careful. These uh, newer rocks have been using it all the championships. You get so much action when you hit them on the what we call the high side. In that case, that was a, an outturn that didn't curl enough on the high side. They'll spin when they hit. If you hit it on the low side, or the, if you hit it in the same spot with the other turn, it, it would just drag a little bit not roll very far but when you hit it in the high side like that spun like nine feet with very little weight so we noticed that in the junior back didn't we that the rocks were so lively yeah and the the, uh, the juniors uh, the top teams in the event adjusted to it and then on top of that the ice was very very quick in Fort McMurray so trying to come around their own corner Leave it in front of the T line. And it's pretty well fully buried. I think you can see a little bit of here for Beth. Just a there's a good angle there. Just a hair. It's all speed control here. Go nice right 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 up. Right up. You want to make sure you tap it through. So they have to have enough weight to do that job, and that means that you have to squeak that guard in order to get it to push it far enough. Sixty-three. Just that little bit of a touch now has pushed it right in behind cover. Those are the ones that you really regret after the game, and part of it is a skip. Sometimes you need to just go up and peel off that guard early in the game, make them make the next come around and not set up a double. You cannot blow by everything. Either broom it very tightly if you think you have a chance, otherwise just get rid of it. It looked like a pretty nice throw, too, so I think they just didn't quite guess where to put the broom in that spot. Good point, Lindy. You have to rack there. Andrew's just going to stay. We well, could go around again. I'd be aggressive. You go, it's your guard. You could go around and sink another one. They talked about splitting the rings. And they think they changed their just mind. They're going more. to play the come around. That's an aggressive call. More. I like it. More weight. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, read off. Read off. Okay. This is where you need no. to be communicating, to though. How much speed does off. it have? Yeah.
Sometimes you get to yeah. this level of play and like there's that. so much going on like around that. you that you tend to be a little quiet. The New Brunswick yeah. team have to talk a little bit more as that rock is coming down. Great weight though, terrific throw. Half a rock, just board. This is a, one of those uh, soccer plays. I think okay. Heather, Heather, it's such a good rock thrower. Thinks if she hits as much as she can see, she might actually make the double here. But you have to hair this guard right there so close. There's a good chance you could wreck here. Okay. This is not simple. It's probably there mathematically, Linda, but you got to go right through the corner of that guard. Right up. Nice so what would you here. play instead? Let's go hooch like you can. Well, maybe a little softer weight and just get the top one. And uh, I don't know. I'd probably try it too, to be honest. It's it's just a tough shot. Could try and run Boy. the guard too. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Skip Jones here in this third. Great off. Whoa. Great off. Great off. For By the guard, off. angle it back Great. and we'll push it by and through with a little same softer thing. weight and you hit it in that same burn. spot, which would have been less like risky. You nice might have rolled behind the red guard. And, you did? Uh, oh, yeah. But I, I think good. Heather felt she could make four. the double, but nice it was self. really tough. <sighs> and that runs nice and straight through. Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. <sighs> Detecting a little less curl inside out than at some of the events, which is fine. We just want it's also day one, and it did feel a little cooler to me, like they were anticipating some mm -hmm. bodies coming in here and warming up the building and maybe causing them some problems. So I think Mark and his ice-making crew will play with it a little bit. And here's a great chance for Andrea. She's got a chance to draw in. She's seen now two come-arounds in the same spot. Close for line! Just have to no, hand it to the no. brushers. Whoa, room. To it. No! No! I'd no. love to be a top eight no. foot here if they could. The Heather line's better than uh, Rebecca's shot. End. Should be able to finish. Hard at the hard. end! Oh, yes. Hard at the end! Hard! Go, go, go! Hard! Hard, yes. hard, hard, hard! hard. Good, good Almost down to it, but did she yeah. leave more of a corner yeah. exposed? Yeah. yeah, it's a little I mean, farther open than the last one, but the, the, the good news is I don't think you can make the double. You'd have to hit it dead on. There's no chance that Heather can hit it dead on. Yeah. They can't get both, I don't think. No. You had a 10 4 last time. Can you see about the same amount? Yep. So we had about here last time. The less. You need to hit it and sit there. Yep. Right? Okay, looks good. Well, that's just called the roll, but I like to sit there. Oh, yeah. Sitting on top. If we roll. You hear the front end say, let's just throw it light enough to sit on top. I think Heather's going to throw it harder to hit and maybe roll behind the uh, red one over the edge of the forefoot. Like the hit and roll, like that way? Still not pretty from the half. That is rock is uh, quite buried. If we know, are we shot? Uh, hard to say. We have to be a little bit here to be shot. And we can do that quite yeah, easily. That's not a bad idea. Isn't that easier? I think that might be easier. I don't, I can't see as much as I'd like. Okay. And if we get to there, right, that'll jam back and sit here. Yeah. I think I like that. I like that. Okay, let's throw that hack weight. Hack. Oh, my. That's oh, well, it looks like a big eye. Okay. This is a risky little shot. Yeah. Okay, it looks good. Yeah, it is, Vic, because she, she's thinking a little softer weight now and trying to hang on the corner there. If she throws it a little bit harder, that, which was the original call, was eliminate the yellow, and then the red was going to, because it was more weight, it was going to roll this way, hopefully to that point, yeah. through, which right, would make it tough for Andrea to score her two points. Right. But now they've decided to just throw a little softer weight, bring it down this way, kick out one of the yellows, and hope they stay on the corner for shot rock. But to hit as much as they can see of that yellow, and again, it brings up that guard, Linda, and you certainly don't want to tick the guard and give up three. Tough shot. Final stone for oh. Team Canada. Yeah. Heather Nettowin, and oh boy, they've been picked up here. Lainey Peters, Jessica Mayer, here comes that guard. You can hear Beth Iskew now. Mayer, Peters, there's that guard. Okay. And now it will be an open draw for three.
Well, you hate to say it, and I'm sure Heather <laughs> would admit it afterwards, but the mistake isn't necessarily with that one. That was a very hard shot, whichever way you looked at it. It was not feeling the guard when the first one went around it. Okay. And you know you can get suckered into those quiet yeah, tap yeah. backs, and then exactly. afterwards you go, how did that happen? I've been here how many times? Yep, mm -hmm. it's so true. If I have any criticism of Heather, is she's so good that she thinks she can make absolutely everything, and uh, that was that was just a tough shot. Just a, she was so close to making it, just seemed to get into a, a different path and it bent a little bit on her. Great opportunity now for New Brunswick. Open draw anywhere in the paint. It's starting to curl quite a, a lot. It's curling hard. Casola and Parsons. Okay. Let's wait. For three. New Brunswick jumping all over the mistake by the defending champions. Ah, budgicals. We can't be given. Well, let's just go back six days. Fort McMurray and Team British Columbia face Team Manitoba in the M&M &M Meat Shops Canadian Junior Final. And the game decided by one brilliant shot was in the seventh. Manitoba sitting one of BC skip. Corinne Brown gets yeah. them all. Watch this. And there they go. Ended up scoring three. There, the team from Kamloops, Sydney Fraser, Sam Fisher, Aaron Pincock, Corinne Brown are the national champions. And this team of 17 year olds will now head off to Sochi, Russia to represent Canada in the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship. And so from Fort McMurray, we've come now to Kingston, Ontario. K Rock Center. Kingston, the first capital of Canada between 1841 and 1844. And on this opening day, opening draw, New Brunswick punishing the defending champions, Heather Nedowin, for that miss with her last to score three. 3 2, New Brunswick leads. Team Canada has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Redstones here in four. The one thing you hate to do is give back a three, and three times last year at the Scotties, Heather Nedowin did just that. The first one was in the first game. She got a deuce, gave a three right back. And then against this New Brunswick team, got a deuce to go up. At that point, was up three to two and gave a three right back. And deuces are one thing. You can mm -hmm. cope with those. That third point is a killer. Yeah, just missing the wrong way, isn't it, if you're... Uh... We always say all these top athletes curl pretty close to 85%. It's the 15% you miss that I worry about. And uh, with the uh, whiff right by and ticking yeah. the New Brunswick rock, rock Berry, yeah. that set up a potential three. And, and New Brunswick made a couple great shots to yeah. make them pay. Kathy, let's uh, continue with our updates. Uh, checking in on Saskatchewan, Jill Shume against the Yellowknife Curling Club's Kerry Galusha. Well, for Kerry, she's trying to run the stone, the shot stone, straight back, hoping to pick out the other Saskatchewan stone. It could be for four. Kerry, eight times a Northwest Territories champion. And uh, needs a sit. It did. And that red stone, that's the killer there because she only gets the one to trail 2-1. Interesting about the Northwest Territories, there were no Yukon participants this year in either men's or women's play. So it was all decided within the Northwest Territories and Kerry Galusha winning a uh, four-team bond spiel there. And the other interesting part about this game is we're seeing an open hit here trying to get a little roll. Nicely nice done. Shot, but to start this in, you have that mistake last in. And unfortunately for Team Canada, their first guard slid into the rings, allowed a hit. So those are the things, the little things that uh, last year as the week went along, they weren't making those kind of mistakes. A little bit of a chance here for... Uh had it later in the end. They've got that yellow yeah, guard that yeah, they can yeah, use yeah. if uh, Andrea's yeah, team yeah. rolls out. So you have to hang around in these. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Good. Nine, seven. 
Another update, Kathy. Are you getting paid by the update? I hope so. Oh, okay, good, because you're going to make lots of money. Here we go. Newfoundland Labrador down 3 nothing, playing the third. Well, for Stacey Devereaux, she's elected to decline the free guard zone. It doesn't throw guards. She's been trying to freeze on Rachel Holman's stones, and that's why there's so many yellow in play all the time. Has to make a draw here. Facing three. Well, she's been under all kinds of pressure. Ontario opened with the last draw, scoring two, then stole one. Devereaux, the 26 year old out of the Valley Haley Country Club in St. John's. Great draw by the former Canadian junior champion to get on the board. Ka ching. There's another <laughs> update for Kathy. Uh, I was a little surprised with the last call in our game. There was a chance to make a hit, so but uh, the house is wide open. I'm not sure you needed to make the hit, and obviously uh, the fact that it was a little bit buried caused them trouble, and they wrecked. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, you know, very little chance of scoring two now. You're going to have to work just to, just to score at all. It, it squeaked that guard into the rings right on the center line. It's in a dangerous position for uh, Heather Nettle. I guess we're throwing a three. We're throwing a three. Dangerous enough that Andrew's just going to call for the guard here. Tight guard now. He hit through a long one here coming this direction in, in number two. It didn't do them any good at all. Get this in maybe to the three position, four or five feet short of that yellow rock in the ring. I think I heard them say three. Okay. I think it came over, didn't get, cover much of anything. They're struggling on that side a little bit, uh, both teams. Looked like a well-thrown rock, just didn't quite finish the way they wanted to, but it does the job. There's no inside roll, that's the main thing. Whatever Heather does with this, it'll be a fairly simple shot for Andrea's first one. Just spins a little bit away from that center guard. Nice job, Beth. Okay, kind of girl. These shots I've found Throw. have become a little more interesting with these great ice conditions. If you if you roll in behind the guard, which is what we were always trained to do, you might see Heather go right around everything because it'll be at the top 12. Okay. Half buried's not that great either because it's hard to raise it. So you might you might be tempted to hit this dead on. Then if Heather makes an aggressive play, you have a pretty short run back. I definitely think that's the call. And at this point, you've got a Heather Nettowin team that's scrambling a little mm -hmm. bit. So you don't want to offer up any opportunity for her to get a good score here. Andrea Crawford, first skip stone for New Brunswick. To roll it away to sit on the edge to sit Becky. two without last rock here. Becky. In the yeah. yeah, I got 9.34, so close. We've been throwing on the softer four. side. Oh, just no. through this. Okay. Control. Okay, looks good. Two options here, too, Linda, isn't there? You could go around. Try to try to create a mistake. Yes, you score your here, deuce. Right? It, moves a little bit it doesn't look at this here. point like you're going to blank the end. Nobody threw a hit here. And I think you're going to try to hit and roll buried, which it's also cool. works. It just seems to be definitely is a with this, uh, intern, does it not? Yeah, yeah, a tendency a in this game so far is to opt to yeah. the hit okay, for Heather. Cool. Yeah. Good. How far, how far, how far, and it's a beauty. Yeah, it's and now we know why they opted for the hit. 
she knew that spot. It, it, Heather's a wonderful ice reader, I find. You can hear her oh, talking to through it all the way. Like, let's, let's, this spot's going to run a little straighter. It should finish a bit at the end. They talked it right through. Great execution. Oh, that's very nice. And watch a late spin here. Great shot. Nine six. Oh, come out. You can grab a little more of the four. Yeah, that was a nice, nice read. This room's so straight. I might be drawing here. I have to throw this draw like a. Like I did in the shot, hot yeah. shots. So yeah. Just take it. Middle of 12 or edge? No. Uh, oh, yeah. Final stone. Andrea Crawford will try yeah. and run it back. And it's her stone that is. She is running back. Parsons to Sola. Hold the line, bang it on the nose, run it back. Oh, and it's a beauty. Stuffed it perfectly. This is one of those perfect ones where you can hear the call on and off, on and off. You know that they're judging the line very well to be a perfect run back. We also did hear Heather and Beth behind the house talking about the draw. Heather knew there was a chance this was going to be made. And as a skip, you want to be prepared. You want to expect the opposition to make a lot of shots and prepare yourself for what might come. And so they've already talked about the draw. So drawing against a couple, one in the 12, nice. one top eight. It's good. It's all yours. Little bite of the four. We'll Take save Team Canada Take here in the fourth. Line. Take a look. It's all yours. Mare on the left. So Peter's on the right. It's all yours. Needs to Easy. bend and grab a little piece of the four. Very nice. You it's bet. Very up. nice. T-line, four foot weight for a single. Here in the fourth, to was. even it up. Well, after Heather Nedwin had made a very nice shot, guess what? Here comes Andrea Crawford with another pretty shot. Oh, just a beauty, Becca. And what I loved about it is it was almost, I would say, less than normal weight, like a control weight. That gives your brushers more chance. Just sticks it absolutely perfect. Force Canada to the uh, the single, the key shot brought to you by Scotty's, Canada's favorite brand of facial tissue. Here at the K-Rock Center on Tragically Hip Way. It was the Tragically Hip Kingston band that opened this building February the 22nd of 2008. 3-3 tie. Good. Great weight. And here in the fifth, it will be New Brunswick that has the last rock playing the yellow stones. Is it on? Do you want to try that? Yep. Okay. First stone was just half in and the corner guard played, so a raise leaves the stone Nine out five. in front. The red guard. Ten. Throw ten. I think ten's better. That role we talked Thank about, the, uh, the yeah, newer go. hitting okay. bands, and much more okay. action. And when you hit them on the high side, they spin. And uh, I didn't hear any communication all the way down there that it was heavy to the last down. second. Like no, they're pretty I quiet like out there. That's yeah. the one thing as a coach whatever. you watch for What's because that? it usually is a sign like that people are just uh, so overwhelmed by everything, they're not as engaged in their job. Sure. And so they're kind of withdrawn, and they're going to have to watch that as this week goes along. Okay, 14 and a half, 14, 8. Yep. It's always a tricky one for the lead to play that shot because if you happen to peel the front rock off, it comes back. So they're always trying to play yeah. with the weight in the ice to make sure you get by the guard. Line's good. Should be close, guys. Line's great. Heather had a couple of choices Easy here, peel the guard can. or come around, and Five. she's decided Easy on the draw. Five, seven. Yeah, I think the scoreboard dictates it a little bit. They, they could peel and uh, blank the end type thing, but that gives your Brunswick a chance in the sixth end. So. Force the issue here. Try to create a mistake and steal a point. Well thrown. Okay. 14-6. We have lots of line. We can. 14 6 we heard. That's pretty fast. Okay. You double that from end-to-end okay. end time. 
20, over 29 seconds. It's pretty quick. Artist knows it. That's very tight. What? Hit and roll. Is that the top one? Yeah, Artist knows it. The top one. Yeah, that's what I like. I like that, Andrea. Oh, yeah, sorry. You can roll that on. Okay. Nine. You like that? Yep. Double purpose shot here. I think if you made the double, there's a pretty good chance you'll roll very close to being uh, A in the rings and maybe behind that yellow guard. And we know this spot curls quite a bit. Yep! Yep! Nine five! Yep. Hard! 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 Hard for nose! Oh, shoot. She rolled the shooter. Kathy, you're on deck again here. Ontario with a 3-1 lead over Newfoundland Labrador and final stone coming up here for Rachel Holman. And for the very first time this game, she's had some pressure put on her. Stacey Devereaux has made some lovely shots today. She buried on her first. Rachel made a better bury. And Stacey was able to hit and roll, and that's why she's facing two is Rachel Holman. There's the other stone top of the 12. Sits there, T-line edge of the four for a single point to take a 4-1 lead. Rachel Holman in her second appearance. And just enough to overlap. And so there's Team Canada sitting the one T-line four foot without last rock here in this fifth. Quite often we think about second Jessica Mayer on Team Canada as a great hitter, but she's just shown us a beautiful come around and then she caps it with the perfect guard. I was guard. Nicely out of my way. way too slow. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try the double peel here. About half the red one on the broom side you should carry that yellow straight back. You might get lucky, get that that yeah, shot rock. Thick. Leaves a corner there again. What was the long? 15 eight, I think. 15 and a half. Okay. Okay, let's go back. 15 and a half. Three! Easy line! Before the top 12, top we're eight even they're talking yes, about, this ice really is right. sliding Forward, today. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Right Still to the going, base. look at it. Right to the base, go! Hard! Okay. Just Sorry, it two. was 97. <laughs> Prince Edward Can Island, Suzanne nine. Burt, they scored three in the third to take a 4-1 lead over Manitoba. And here they're sitting two, and that's what's facing Jennifer Jones, Kathy. Well, it's one of those teams that we talked about before, Suzanne Bird is, that can really put a lot of pressure on a team like Manitoba that traditionally has come out a little bit slow, playing them very, very tough. Jennifer did leave a lot of rocks in play to try to generate a deuce, did not get that opportunity. This is a draw for one. Remember now, Suzanne Burt, when she was Suzanne Goody, another former Canadian junior champion, world junior, had that great first, that debut in 2003, which when she went 10 and one, was the, the Cinderella of the event, and then uh, faded down the stretch, won a bronze medal. 4-2 there as they go to the fifth. What a great double by uh, Rebecca. That had to squeeze the guard to make it. Whoa! Now, there was set up really by Beth. She would be very upset that her guard went all yes. the way in. Yeah. And Lines up the same. relatively Fire. easy double still had to be made, of course. Line, but line. She would easy hate the fact line. that it went so far. What a difference that little Fire. centimeter makes that uh, ticks the guard. Three, it's a draw three, for easy, three. Ten. Now, yes! Yep. Go. Guys, go as far as they can go. Go, 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 Exactly where the first one had to be. That's a nice shot and a good recovery. 
quite impressed that you're you've gotten into the metric thing now yeah. talking about <laughs> centimeters. And... Very current Vic. Yeah. Very current. <laughs> yes you are. That's our high tech guy. <laughs> Vic, how do I sign on here? <laughs> I can't get on to my computer. Atkinson, <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, and she'll Ooh. just touch that guard. Oh, the dreaded little tick on the front one. Rushing it hard because they think they can get it by, and they don't, and it just moves over a little bit. Thanks. Okay. Over here. So Looks good. Slow. Slow. Very slow. I thought you'd see uh, Heather go uh, to the open side here. There's two nice what corner guys guards, like? yellow like guards. You can dock around okay. there. I just think if we throw up a two or so, it's yeah, just coming kind of around. Behind. I think a tap, angle tap back would be nice. Yeah, sounds good. You're going to try to create some separation, but you could Fearless. easily set up a double here, Linda, just like uh, with oh, Beth's Linda's first one. Top. It's funny she hasn't what even talked about the other side. Like yeah, it's interesting. Five. This is not wrong either, but I, th I think it's a little tougher than just drawing to the open side. But uh, this is a Go lot out. of weight, so they're going to have to wait for it to come Whoa. over. Whoa! Whoa! Just let it work. No! It's starting to work. Get over there. Get over there. Go, Jess! Hard, hard, Go, hard. Jess. Go, hard, Jess. Go, Jess. Jesus, Okay, 14. Wow. Slow down a lot more than they thought. They would have been better to try and hit it even a little thinner if they uh, knew exactly where the weight was going to be. I thought at the end it would go, and it never did. Yeah. Angle double there now. Okay. Oh, for sure, Vic. No question about it. You might even be able to roll over behind the yellow ones if you make the double. Shoot, I thought Questionable that would call. A little bit more at the end. There. It's easy from yeah. up here, though. <laughs> I think it if they get it right the underneath, ball. they were hoping that uh, Andrew would have to play the run back. She misses the run back. You sit three. So it was, again, uh, I don't know if I don't know just an aggressive had. call. Well, doesn't it come down to, Linda, to what you're thinking is if you're, if you go to the open side, as Russ was suggesting, then double. Team Canada and Netawin are trying to force you. By that play, Almost aren't they trying to impact get a steal well possibly yeah. I guess if we'd raised it perfectly to the four foot we could be talking about potential steel territory but it's always one of those things your choices as the game goes along it wasn't a perfect setup for no. steel and so it was a as you say an aggressive call to put them that close together looking to get them both if she can wow that was amazing yikes Actually over curled or did she Sorry, just get guys. that started? You know? okay. I think she had to be inside, but it really took off. Yeah, Andrea gets the rock a little left of center as she comes out on an intern. Sometimes she can make that move a little yeah, bit, which on the straight ice is very valuable, but not here. The unfortunate thing is she left the dangerous rock. Mm -hmm, the buried she, one. She'd happen to jam it. It would have been just sitting eight foot. This is close to four foot now. Oh, that's Over a, here. Yeah. yeah. That's a thick half. You're saying? It's a thick half. Three quarters. She can't see that much. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> just biting, uh, biting four. Biting a four. For 12 12, right? Yep. Okay. What do you like out here, Lainey? 100, 105? We're going to try 105. to do the double duty here. Guard the, the rock that's uh, almost buried, but take away the draw potential by just putting right on the center line, I believe. You're either going to go top four or maybe just top 12, depending on the, on the line. They'd, if they go too deep, they might set up a double, so they have to be Easy careful line. here. Whoa. Top, top 12 whoa. should work. Line's good. We're three four. Go hard, girls. Go hard, girls. Hard, 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 hard. 
Good. Oh, they just <laughs> grabbed it. <laughs> just enough. Nice throw. Yeah. Good brush. Great shot because it, it just leaves the draw and the draw for Andrea there's there's quite an opening here between this one and this one but as we know with such late finish it's tough to get through there that hole becomes smaller and smaller so this gap between the yellow and the red is making this a little more difficult than it looks and is your those guards are in your eye too exactly right? this rock Vic probably at the far hog line the second hog line it'll still look like it's wrecking on the guard and then it makes that little move as it slows down there's a good the angle way. there yeah. so you're if you're not close to that yellow guard you're going to wreck on the red one So facing a couple with her last, Andrea Crawford, New Brunswick in a 3-3 tie, line, line. trying to take the lead going to the break. If you have to, and there you go, line. there's that call, woe line, Whoa. waiting for it to break off the guard. Look at that, it was still on the guard as Russ suggested at the hog line. Now she's found the hole, get it to the four foot. Very nice, lovely try, Andrea Crawford. New Brunswick, they'll get the single. We'll go to the break. 4-3, they're the leaders on day one. The 2013 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? By Ford, go further. And by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. Skating outside of uh, City Hall here in Kingston. Andrea Crawford, New Brunswick. Nice draw to get the single to take the 4-3 lead. Let's see, check the numbers after five, Linda. And Team Canada with a slight edge over all that bottom line, 79% to New Brunswick, 75%. Not a lot to choose until you look at the individual players. Both thirds are struggling, and for Heather Nettowin, that's a big problem with best Iskew down at 63%. The front end is set up well, but that's where they're falling down, Vic. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Horton's Premium Brand Coffee. Always 20 minutes fresh. Welcome back to the K Rock Center. It's the opening draw of this year's Scotty's Tournament of Hearts, and our featured game is on sheet D. Four sheets in play the entire week. 4 3, New Brunswick leads it. And here in six, it will be Team we Canada. Be it has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the okay. red stone. Good, Lainey. Well done, Lainey. Well done. <laughs> Just three. Three. Full marks, full marks for New Brunswick, I think, in this first uh, half. Uh, historically, game one or two is really difficult three. to make the uh, ice adjustment for this team. They were incredible in their own one, provincials. They, were, they had a plus one, minus of 57 one, three, in the eight games they played. They just obliterated everybody. It was just amazing. Nice and tight, come on. Congratulations, too, hard. to, uh, nice to Jody DeSola. We mentioned that Andrea Crawford had gotten married. Her husband, Tyler Crawford. Well, Jody got married as well. And uh, congratulations to her and husband, John Wilson. I feel like the social register over here. <laughs> she wore white, he wore a tuxedo. Oh, <laughs> and what were the flowers? I uh, have to be carnations and roses. Oh, I'm great, make it good. <laughs> hard, Jess, hard. Go, ladies, go. Go, 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 go. Go, Jess, this go, isn't go, very go, deep. go, go, go. Go, go, go. We're going to be in for some fun here now. A lot of. Good sweep. A lot of opportunities for both team with staggered guards like that. And the door was wide open with that one yellow one back house mm -hmm. and a guard that was in a good position to draw around it. The line was perfect on that last one, but it does come up short. So Laney leaves the door open for New Brunswick. And that door is that hole 
between the center line yellow and the red covering the edge of the four. She studies at the Center for Arts and Technology. Danielle Parsons. DeSola and Atkinson trying to find that hole now. Get it by the center. They do, they just did. And that brushing, and all that brushing, and so it will skate to the back uh, edge of the eight. He had to go. We were calling it up. Yeah. This is the choice you have to make because you're going to get it by. You're going to brush it hard. That Sorry. means it already had some speed, and that speed's going to carry even further. The option would be to let it rub, and those are always hard ones to choose. Yeah, with that much weight, it would have been much better to rub, wouldn't it? Easy. Now a little pocket for uh, Team Canada here. They can use it. Whoa. No, a little more. Seven no. and eight. We're all there. No. We're all there. Jessica no. is a teacher at John Milland High School. And there go, is go, that go, little go. rub on the outside guard. That's Opens, right. uh, well, now, okay. depending on where that it's shooter like stopped, is he about the same wait, amount of gap actually, now? No, the weight was all right. Yeah. They need a little more yeah. ice in this okay. spot, too, uh, for uh, Danielle here. She was almost on the guard right out of her hand, so they had to brush it all the way down. So they're going a little wider here. That's the interesting part about being a skip because we just saw Jessica Mears Rock not curl enough. Yeah, so yeah. you've got two players with very different the releases, different amount of curl. And as more. a skip, yes, you have to read the ice. You also have to read the players that are throwing at you to figure out what's happening out there. Very different types of deliveries and thus curl. No, no that brushing. one hung out. Yeah, no brushing needed here. Now they're going to play the little rub and try to get the roll underneath and nicely played. Look at that. The rub off by the top two and sitting three now without last rock. What if it hit yellow under red? Yeah. Kathy, I'm counting up one, two. So Ontario is sitting two up four, one on Newfoundland Labrador. And this is Stacey Devereaux. Well, and for Stacey Devereaux, she's going to hate the color yellow by the end of the day. Yeah, she has faced just a pile of granite. A lot of it is the way that she plays. She's down and she's playing a lot of rocks. But again, it's a big draw. Hard line! Hard line, where? Hard line! Okay, whoa, whoa. Yep. Yep. Aaron Porter calling line. Loren Wasilki and uh, Heather Martin. Whoa. Whoa. And this one will face. keep going. That's good. Great shot. And stop Real? at the back. One it is, steal one more, 5-1. And in that game, Vic, there has been a player change for Ontario. Kriviatsik is sitting out, and their fifth, Stephanie LeDrew, has now joined on the ice. A tight guard. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. I don't know. Uh, the, uh, Nini, you guard, she just comes around. Remember last what? year, in red you here, guard, flew everywhere. Around, maybe, right? And in fact, uh, make it really tight, though. Yeah. Kelly Scott and the BC team like three, four? were uh, yep. affected by the flu a year ago in Red Deer. This year at, in Cloverdale, in their provincials, they actually rented a house. They never went out to dinner. They uh, didn't shake hands uh, just because they and they're doing much the same here. They're just trying to avoid any of the possibilities of getting sick but it's bad everywhere if you'd watch any of the provincial or territorial championships or right back to juniors there have been times when health and wellness is really Top taking ball. its toll on teams and you it's don't want to have that happen yeah, it's really hard. the run back here by Jessica Mayer will have cleared out the ball, front but did not really move any of the reds hard. into the rings it's still three New Brunswick yeah, stones and a guard ball. being played I'm yeah, saying this one picked it's not going to guard the uh, top eight foot rock at all So. And even though there's three uh, yellow New Brunswick rocks in the rings, this is a great opportunity for Team Canada. Two corner guards, two of the yellows behind the line. They're going to okay, move back. the only dangerous one now. Maybe roll to your uh, to right hand side of the screen there in behind cover. And 
Savage. He'll run it back and get two. Waited a long time for it to come up. Another update. And Manitoba is sitting two as PEI plays their last in the fifth, Kathy. Well, she's got a great chance here. There's the double. That would put another three spot yeah. on the board for PEI, but you saw that last motion out. Uh oh. Uh oh. And okay. it'll stop. It'll be a steal of two. Go to the break. 4 4. Jennifer Jones and Suzanne Burke. Rebecca Atkinson. Hard! 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 Trying to avoid the jam. And will not. Will kill her own and okay. also spill the Team Canada stone. So from sitting three and looking like she might be forcing and maybe even stealing here, it's turned around and Team Canada has a chance now to make the hit and possibly get in behind cover. Uh, you pointed out Linda Beth Iskew at 66 percent uh, Rebecca yeah, Atkinson <laughs> at 57 percent so both of the thirds struggling and it's such a pivotal position especially in this first game both teams playing a little open and so you try to keep it open and then your third misses and suddenly the other team has a great chance even with that when it was interesting they played the center line out and it curled a lot mm -hmm. they had been playing that outside in straighter turn Thanks. I'm not sure if it's uh, just a little thing with the delivery with Beth. She seems to get caught in those spots where they just curl. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Whoa. Quick. Whoa. Hard. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Andrea Crawford, the former Canadian junior whoa. champion, makes whoa. the hit and rolls it over and will bury it. Shot. And just updating you, no, Saskatchewan. I, I got and that's Jill Shume from Maidstone. Well, they about might. 220 kilometers northwest of Saskatoon, ahead of Kerry Galusha from Yellowknife. Like, mm. <laughs> well, I think we're expecting it to be actually like faster than it is. That's in behind cover that yellow stone, but this is a okay. chance for Heather to draw yep. one into a better spot. Let's go, Hooch. Good throw. 95? You bet. 100 or 90? 95 to 100. 95 to 100, meaning uh, 3.95 or 4 seconds. Back line to hog line. Line's nice. It's good. Easy line. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. Graham, let it work. We'd like to go. Okay, you can nice. go. Great. Graham, so 14. Whoa, eight. Laney, whoa, whoa. Laney, whoa. At the end, Look guys. at that whoa, finish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. By the guard by nearly a foot. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Line's great. Line's great. Good. And there it is. Perfectly tucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was creeping out the door. I know. Hey, wait. Good throw. No, I actually think it just, I think it curls a ton. Like if you just get by the top yellow, don't you get it? I know it's overburied, but if you just trust that it'll go, I think it will go. Do you think we can play board this way? It's completely buried. Yeah, but it's, it's out, of, out of the run. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I don't mind that either. I mean, whatever you think you got a be better shot of making. It's long, but it's just a nose, right? You'd probably yeah. have to paper it and I know. throw I'll just play nine and a half. Thing. What did you say, nine and a half? Yeah. Straight back is what they're going to try. They thought about uh, coming down with a kind of a soft weight shot and just chapping it back. It'd be really difficult. The other option they didn't consider is 
maybe drawing down here and trying to kind of maybe half burying it and uh, at least force Heather to a tough one. Rolling it down on its side there. <laughs> we took the other stone off the menu, Vic, so he has more pretty lines and oh, things. Oh, is that so, right? So okay. he has to roll every rock. Boy. It's just the way it is. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Science. Yeah, yeah exactly. I can't, we told you I it was high tech. Can't run the Wi-Fi and everything, Vic. It's just it's tough for you. So. I thought the, with the, was now they're trying to rise. You say run this back because they have played the out turn through the hole as well. Was there a hole there? I don't think. I, I don't. Well, yeah, you could get through the hole, but I don't think it would curl enough to tap it Let's out. Let's go straight to here, though. No, I don't want that. I want okay. same ice. Okay, same ice. Well, yep, yeah, we had a. Tony problem here, with those run backs like that is exactly yeah, yeah, what you yeah, just yeah. saw. You miss it by a hair, and now yeah, you're just drawing the ocean for two. And you, I always like to play yeah, the go back four foot there and make the other skip earn it. Yeah. In no, the it's in the ice. Right here? Yeah. It's in the ice. What was my kick on that 94. One? Okay, so I'm taking about this much less. Okay, we can go to our reds. And be shot? Second? Yes. Okay. All right, 95. Good information for the brushers. Slightly different line, and you can come to the nose of the red one in the house and sit two. That, of course, assumes you're not actually removing the red one. You're just drawing Line's to it. Nice. Lots of room to make the second point. Line's great. Take a look. Take Down a look. Line's take great, a look. girl. Boy. Already sitting one. Top eight. Boy, foot girl. 15 3. Gotta go. Boy, Gotta a lot go. more work than they go, expected. Jeff, Mayor it. and Peters. A little, more. Little, a little bit more. Jeff, little more. Good sweep. Oh, good, good sweep. As Russ says, like drawing the ocean. Splish. Splash. They pick up two and take the lead. Welcome back to this opening day coverage. The Scotties from Kingston. We want to quickly go over to Sheede, Saskatchewan. And that's Jill Shume from Maidstone, Saskatchewan. Very close to Lloyd Minster and the Alberta border. This is her first appearance playing Kerry Galusha. Eight Northwest Territory titles of the Yellowknife Curling Club. And down 3-1. And will hit and roll away. And that's a steal of one more for Jill Shume and Saskatchewan. And they're up 4-1 after six. Jill Shumay was a winner over Stephanie Lott in the Saskatchewan Championship. Team Canada gets two and six. And now leads 5-4 as we welcome you back. Here in the seventh, it will be New Brunswick that has the last rock playing the Yellowstone. Like that? Mean you go here. Go here. Who does that? I don't like that. We could ever cross it a hair, though. So we don't need to get what? But then if she ever runs it, like there. Yeah, it would jam on our back one. On their back one, I mean. Do you like drawing here? Or do you like going on top? Where is that one? Whatever you like. I'm asking you. Do you like here? Or do you want to go here? I was just thinking like if we cr if we can cross it a hair and they try that, board. it might jam on their back one. It's yeah, I don't know if it's curling that much, but so we can okay. try. Yeah, see, I don't mind going in front of it. I don't like. Okay. Okay. It does depend if you think you can get buried. If you're not going to bury this, you're just mm. going to set up a double. So a lot of it does depend on the ice reading, which no, is, I think, no why that team at the hack end was a little hesitant to offer <laughs> up too much there. I hate Great. grouping them together no, here. I guess if you get the perfect angle, you're pretty Are happy, you but uh, no. yes, better than yes, a yes, yes. even money chance you're going to set hard, up a double here. Hard, 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 really hard, sorry. Yeah, finish it over hard. Hard, hard. It's going to come up short, hard, so now they're trying to set up a guard. Hard, keep going. Hard, 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 hard. Okay, sorry, Jody. What do you like, Jess? Do you like cleaning it up or just come around? I don't like coming around. Do you like the cleanup? Yeah, we can do that. Be really yeah, careful yeah. you start yeah, uh, yeah, 
yep. thinking ahead yep. now, what I really like with second okay, stones on a lot of teams spot, right? is the fact that they want to move that Let's opposition stone out of the forefoot. Now, at this point, you can't do it directly, so I think you need to clean up. It's one of the things you and I have talked mm -hmm. about, that a lot of teams wait too long with angle freezes and never have anything to run into that freeze, whoa, whoa, and that's the opposition whoa. rock scorers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd like to get no. them both here. Needs to curl. Okay, good throw. And okay. won't, we'll just push it across the top. The angle freeze is fine as long as you get it into a perfect position. And so far, mm -hmm. I'm not sure they've got the no. ice figured out. No, not at all. Certainly the speed was well off there by Jody. Well, similar. I think on seconds rock, Heather feels pretty confident trying to make that shot to open it up. And at this stage, the teams have exchanged some opportunities, so it looks like if you make that great shot, you might have a chance Three, to get a shot wrong. Go. Have a letter. Three, four, yeah, four, one. four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Five. Just whoa. five. Five. Whoa, whoa. Close, yeah. Oh, they just laid off it for a little bit. Now, you've often said, both of you, sometimes you have to look at the scoreboard. And if if I'm, well, I'm yeah. looking at it yeah. now, too. But, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but we're in the seventh. Your Team Canada, you're up by one. Yes, New Brunswick has the last rock. Wouldn't you, if you're Team Canada, want desperately to force here to get it back for eight and potentially ten? Yes, you want to force, yes. Control. Okay. There's a lot of ways to do it, though, and, and fortunately, right now with Beth struggling a little bit, the come arounds are not the things that are being successful. The, the perfect come arounds yeah, into the right the angle. So Heather's just go, trying go, to keep go, it a little go, bit go, go, easier go, go, go. heading into Beth's shots, I believe. Okay. Set it out. Oh, sort of funny, though, because they're trading chances. Let's just think if that redstone that's at the back of the 12 mm -hmm. had been played top of the house or even a little short. Then Heather has lots of opportunities to think about what to do. That one being deep well, really caused a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. gave New Brunswick some chances. They missed both of them. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's who's going to figure this out first. If you, if you tap and roll here is not bad either, right? Yep. I like um, that. I like that better than the split. Okay, so do you want the same weight? Or? T-line? We're talking about tapping that okay. fairly straight on. If they hit a quarter of it, they'll yeah. roll uh, all three yellows into the rings. But it, it will obviously set up some some type of double. If you could just tap that behind the red, maybe roll for a center guard would be really nice. Danielle Parsons yep. playing second hey, stone. Yeah. Just not figuring the ace out at all. It's a, Sorry. No. That a little more than draw weight, which is what was required for the shot, allows it to run that little bit straighter and uh, definitely fooled Andrea halfway down. Sorry, what weight? Normal? Okay, let's go Nose back. Nose hit here will effectively remove the two yellows. It'll probably go right. If they make it perfect, it'll go right across the top of that red one, leave it in the rings. Just dead on. Normal. Still playing the turn yes. away from center, yes. so we'll see if it Whoa. curls in this Whoa. particular spot. Whoa. Well, they yes. jumped it early. Yes. And now yes. we've got nothing on the yes. way down. Perfect. And they'll get it. <laughs> oh, that's great ice reading and a wonderful throw. <laughs> Do you see the smug little look she got? One of the few times that we've seen a smile from Beth Iskew. Vic, it's back to my point of why I like the call to open it up. The they shot was a little that. simpler yeah. for Beth. Yes, of course, the opposition did make a mistake for that to happen, but they've been seeing some of those. So Beth had the chance to play the open hit, got the double beautifully done. It's one of the only times it's a good sign to argue all the way down. Yeah. Beth was yelling, whoa, yeah. and Heather was yelling, sweep. It had to be close. Rebecca hard. Atkinson. Right in between, it's uh, yeah. 
If once they had known it wasn't going to roll Barry, they could have been off that hair sooner, tapped out that other red, and then uh, the yellow that's just short of the rings could come into play. There's just still a chance to chip that onto the rings. Control on this. Control, wait, that's pretty tight ice. They're trying to flop in behind. They want to, only has to curve three or four inches. Ten! Line's good. Whoa, easy. Yep! 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 Rush all the way, trying to hold it, trying to, if they could, get that little roll in behind those staggered guards and couldn't do it. Yeah. Do you want to try and draw? Yep. I don't really like leaving that there, but unless you play that. Aggressive call here. I'm the draw. Let's draw here. Get it. No, Becky, we can't. Uh, no, we can't. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those great calls if you make it. If you don't make it, it could cost you the game. Also talk about managing players. And uh, Rebecca, also in the first half, really struggled. So mm. you want to think about giving her a chance to make a shot with pretty good odds of being made. And as she throws, right now at 60%. Might go the other way. Yep. Yep. Hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They do roll it away, jams it at the back, loses the shooter. It's curious there, you're looking for. Yeah, I like that. But she's coming, you can Or there is somebody the right now in Rebecca Atkinson, Linda, that just appears to have no feel. Well, That's a good yeah. point, Vic. It's not just line, it's also weight, and the oh, yeah, combination okay. just isn't there for Rebecca, and unfortunately the shooter rolls out. I know they were trying for the double the other way, but it was really important to try and get a yellow rock in there and make Heather have a little more pressure as far as where she put her stone. I mean, that rust wasn't anything there, close to uh, draw no, weight, no, was it? No. Well, no, they changed like the call. Oh, did they change it? I apologize. But, but she, <laughs> did, she did overthrow the hit back to, uh, she's trying to roll right? inside, so she missed by maybe six or seven inches wide, like mostly because of the weight control, you're right. Hey. Speaking of weight control, they got to go pretty wide here. We haven't seen this spot, so the guess is it has to be four, five, six late. feet slower in this area than uh, Do you, what do you down a quick spot. Or 90-95. Another looked at playing the other turn first, but that yellow guard is very tight to the rings and a concern about where to put the broom to get to that spot. Taking the easier path in as far as the angle of the guard. Mine's good! Okay, five! Five! Okay, room! Room! Room, Jess! Lots of room, room guys! Six! Like, room! Lots of room! No, we gotta go, don't we? Getting better! Let it work if you Maybe can! Maybe the first stone yeah, played out here. Girl, girl. Wide girl. out turn, draw. Girl. Team Canada, hey, go, look, at look at this. Look at this. Great sweeping. Boy, terrific high. stuff. Great brush. Nice throw. Well done. Nice, nice brush. The room. No, we gotta go. Don't Getting we. better. What a wonderful guess by yeah. I think one of the best yeah. ice readers in the sport. Go, uh, go, uh, go, had the broom in the right spot, go, but could they guess go, at the speed? Go, and it was girl, just on, perfect. Go, Great sweeping, 14 and a half. Six, you're like, oh, you gotta go for with six there. Interesting, yeah, this is 14 and a half, which is almost normal. Well, I, I heard her say she'd throw a uh, 3.95, which is exactly what they're talking about in a quicker spot. So that's how good this surface is. They can go out to a spot an hour and a half into the game that's never been played on and still have the confidence to throw a very similar speed that they had in, in a quick spot. Great, great surface for these players. Four, okay? Yep. Almost too good. It's unraisable. Mine's oh, nice. Lots of room right now. Right here, guys. T. Whoa. Andrea Walk Crawford. Right Whoa, starting to go. She has yes. last Final draw. Yes. She has the hammer. Yes. But is Team Final Canada lead. sitting two yes. without? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Final lead. Trying to feather that guard. Oh. Now needs to dig in for. Go, Beth, go, Beth, go. And it will for Shotstone. Follow her down. Follow that. Yep. 
I like that. Make two, make sure we're to it. She had here a second ago. Nice. Oh, it's through fairly well. It's a great line, but uh, had they had yeah, to brush it, and of course that took it back. That means there is room for Heather mm -hmm. to get on top of it. Not even a smidge more, Heather. And New Brunswick just need, yep. needing a little okay. bit more it's ice in this game. And so. Another three inches of ice there. They don't brush that, right? and it's probably on the tee line, which would be a yeah, much tougher 14. shot for Heather. Yep. All the same, though, it's completely undercover. Heather has to be perfect with her speed here. Okay, need to be full six. All right, let's go. Took a little nice bit one. more Where? ice. Six. Okay, line's good. Final Take throw. Line. Easy line. Or Heather Get Netherwood and Team Canada. Seven. Okay, Getting well. better. Weight only. Oh, oh. Room. 14-4. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay with the Yep. 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 Right to the back one. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's good. Good sweep. Very nice. Almost draws it down. Sit shot stone. Shot. No yeah, option okay. here for uh, New Brunswick. They have to simply uh, simply have to draw it for the single here. And it's not that simple. Similar path to her first one would work. Just to it, or do we need a bump? Or? Uh, no, we don't have to. If we're gonna if we're gonna touch it, we gotta be on the inside. That's all. Okay. So Those early mistakes just could not get okay. the rocks mm -hmm. in the right yep. spot for New Brunswick. Okay. And the fact that uh, Team Canada opened it up, had a chance for the double, and Beth made it. So that's kept the pressure on Andrea the whole way. So she's playing just for the single here? Yeah, that's all she's got. She but can't chip it through mm -hmm. and by. Not a chance. No, there's no angler. You have to hit it dead on. It's, it, it, you can't get that much girl. So right now it's a stolen point for Team Canada. Here in the seventh, oh, final stone. Oh, 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 and Parsons. All the way to go. On the corner and rolls towards the button. Very nice. By the 2005 Canadian Junior Champion, Andrea Crawford, New Brunswick. Time. Before we expected ourselves to be here, not that we took it for granted, but this is like a a bonus round. When I walked into the rink, Kim and I, we just kind of looked around and I promised I wouldn't be nostalgic, but you did look and said, this is so great. I love the smells, uh, I love the sounds. Uh, the rocks sound different when they're hitting as opposed to being in a curling club. I was bouncing around my uh, hotel room this morning when I put my jersey on. This has been my dream for many, many years and it's beyond exciting to be here. Curlers are still regular people in their regular life, you know, working, making supper, doing grocery shopping, and then all of a sudden for this week, you get to come and be rock stars, and it's pretty good. And indeed, uh, Colleen Jones, one of the best rock stars of all time. But now, throwing the second stone and vicing for Marianne Arsenault out of the Mayflower, Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. As she goes against Quebec's Allison Ross will make her second appearance. Previously once with Ontario, once with Quebec, and uh, Brenda Nichols out of the Glenmore in Dollar des Ormeaux. So that's our featured game when we join you later this evening with draw two from here in Kingston. So New Brunswick gets their single to tie at 5-5, and so here in eight, Team Canada does what they wanted to do. And that's get the hammer back. Oh, they down, have the last easy, rock playing the red stones in and in the down. even eight. Oh, 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 hold the line. Oh. Line's good. Yep. 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 Well done, well done Laney. Good. Nice that, comeback for Laney. The first rock was out in front yeah. and Laney came up short. That's the red guard okay. and then it come around by New Brunswick. Nice to the top of the button, I'm but stopping. Laney comes <laughs> back with the angle freeze. The staggered guards are going to make this an interesting end. It's a for the score uh, tied like this, this is crucial. Andrew's going to try very, very hard to steal a point here, and uh, either a blank or a deuce for Heather is the, uh, the option. So, with those rocks out in front like that, it, it's going to create a lot of havoc Where? in the middle. Little side. Four. Yes. Yes. Got to go line. Hard line. Three. Yeah. Three. Yes. Keep going. 
comes a third one into that pile. Over Keep curling. Going. Three. Hard, Becky, roll the shooter. There's no roll. Hard, re okay, okay. Good sweeping, girls. Can you see much of that, Jeff? Three quarters. Okay. Peel. It's the eighth. What are they getting caught on? Peel. Now with it, they should have maybe figured out earlier. I'm not sure, Vic. I really not. It doesn't look like it's slowing down. We would advantage of watching all four sheets from up in our bird's nest here. It uh, nobody else is coming up light on anything. Looks like the ice is maintaining its Whoa. speed. It's, I think. Uh, yeah. I think in fairness, you, you yeah. those yeah. shots are trying. They can't be heavy. Yeah. Take this red one. Come on. Out a girl. Sit down. Nicely done. Good. Sometimes you miss out a necessity, like you can't, uh, you ever come around and play that freeze and you miss it wide and heavy, you're in trouble. So short wasn't too bad an option. Jessica Mayer does a nice job to uh, spring those three guards. Still is New Brunswick sitting the one. Yeah. Top edge the of the button. Or freeze, any guy. Or freeze. Well, anything running to that red yellow means the red will be shot. So you can see New Brunswick having a long look yeah. and now we'll call a timeout to try and figure out how to counter what the position is in the house. I don't know where the timers are. I kind of like the freeze, I think. And while they uh, call out the uh, coach, let's go over to check in on Manitoba PEI with uh, Jennifer Jones, Kathy, chance for a couple. Well, she does have a chance for a couple and to get the lead back in this game after yeah. giving up three early and being down for most of it. Can wow. see probably wow. three quarters of the stone. Clean. Ah. Clean. Clean it. Clean it. Nice shot, Jen. Wow. And there it is, two around the eight foot. And Manitoba. And Jennifer Jones Sorry, out of the St. Patel. Charlie Sullivan. And then we're just pumping our rock behind the, the button, aren't we? Yeah, but we're kind of spreading them out. What do you think? What are we trying? We're trying to steal this in, or are we trying to force this in? Well, force, but I don't think we're in steel position anymore. Okay, if, if we put a guard in front of the yellow one up front, the one on top of the eight foot. What's she going to do? She's going to play to these red ones over here with a little tap? Right, but yeah. she can't come to the inside. No, she She leaves us. If we're trying to keep the steel in play, we might go just... Split center. Yeah. Split center makes the triple possible, but yeah. Like a two then? Guard? I kind of... Not, not three, because she just runs it. Means that's a draw around. If all. we're trying to steal, I think we're, we're coming tight with the guard. Okay, tight, okay. And give guarding ourselves the, guarding the option that. on both sides, so... Okay. Yep. So guard that one rock. It's a little confusing because I thought the goal it? that was stated yeah. by Andrea and the team was to force the opposition okay. to take one. And uh, Charlie's last so like suggestion involved trying for a center. steal. So I'm not sure they were mm -hmm. on the same page. No, and the red one's in such a good spot for Heather Netto and Team Canada. Obviously it can be tapped up if it's not guarded. Charlie, of course, uh, been around the game a long time, former New Brunswick champion, former Canadian junior champion, his family, Sullivan name, synonymous really with curling in, uh, in New Brunswick. Uh, Charlie, one of the best, just a phenomenal player, good hitter, good brusher, good team player, and, and he, he really gets it. He really knows the strategy, does a lot of clinics. Where, he's given back to the Heavy game for years. Girls. Yeah, um, I, I would have, if you, if you are thinking guard oh, or, or a steal, oh, I'd be guarding oh, that red raise. That's the dangerous one. And Heather's just going to uh, make a move on that one, I believe. I like this. Even, like the, this. even the top eight foot, yeah, that down. really overcurled. And almost all Four, of New Brunswick guards eight. have overcurled. Hard to know if it's the yeah. ice or if it's Danielle. She's uh, had a lot of overcurls even on hits. I really believe it's that, you know, we're used to that little bit straighter ice surface. And it's so easy to get it started on the straight ice. You can't do that here. All right, does this surprise you? Because Charlie Sullivan thought that the next stone from Team Canada would be onto the red and onto Shot Rock. And they've elected to 
Well, they're not going to be able to make the shot, but they were trying That's to play fine. the okay, hit Jess. on the yellow center line and roll we'll away to the 12th. Well, only because the guard over curled, if uh, Team New Brunswick had made the guard, I think Heather's only choice would be to come around and tap that red one. So Char Charlie was correct. But the guard was so over curled, it gave them a chance to get that dangerous top eight rock. Are you awake? What? Are you awake? Attempted to guard a bit of that red one, wouldn't you, Linda? As I said, I think the timeout was really interesting that they never really got down to what is it we're trying to accomplish and mm -hmm. how will the series of shots look for us. So the guard was mentioned, and no problem no, if that's, no uh, if that's Charlie's right, suggestion. There's no problem with that. But then what are you going to do? Yes. Yes. The guard's yeah. made, and they make the tap. And then what is right. it going to look like? What do you want to accomplish? You may have heard that loud noise in here. They've been Power having some finish. speaker Power problems Power in the uh, the K Rock. Every once in a while, they just go off. She just really threw it really straight, so we stop watch for them. Oh, did it fall? Well, Saskatchewan, uh, Jill Shumay. This That's is a, a really nice uh, debut for her, out of Maidstone, leading uh, Alusha from the Northwest Territories. And of course, yeah. Ontario convincingly 7 1. That's Rachel Holman of Ottawa ahead of Stacey Devereaux from St. John's. Whoa! Wait. Whoa! 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 Oh, we got nothing. Woo! Ooh! <laughs> no, no, A little no, no. bonus. <laughs> That could make a big difference in this game, that hit and roll off the corner. And Heather really didn't see it coming. You want to be you stay back and just guess. She's kind of up there going, whoops. That works, Beth. Thank you very much. Remember now that it is Team Canada playing the Red Stones that does have the last rock in this 5 5 tie. Well, that changed things a little bit. We go from playing that center guard for New Brunswick to hitting this rock because it is third shot. Rebecca Atkinson. To Sola and Parsons. Get it by the stone there. Roll it over there. And we'll grab the back of the four to sit two without. Great sweep. Sorry. Great sweep. Great sweep. Really soft weight here in the hit, which is great if you know it's coming. And they uh, managed to brush it coast to coast and save it to, to sit two there. But I think they've set up a bit of an angle here, Linda. It looks like if they want to, they could play that red double. It looks like it caroms this way pretty naturally. Double. But that leaves a dangerous rock here. So Heather's discussing moving Anything this one first. Jamming. I like your call. I like your call. It's good. It's good. This is like just jamming. I know. Normal. Can I have the intern? No. Okay. Normal. Normal. <laughs> well, okay. So oh, there. Let's go back. All right. Better explain why. I mean, is it just more comfort for her to throw the intern, or is the is the out turn the turn for this shot? Well, I think I think Heather uh, Heather knows this spot better, but uh, you know, it's, it, you'd think Beth would have a little more input yeah. because it's her that has Whoa. to yeah. execute here. Yeah. Beth is yeah. Talked about a possible jam here. Run this back oh, when it over curled and then it misses everything. Okay, nice, sir. you're asking about that spot. It's always tricky down this center line area. That's what I mentioned going the way the last end. They were playing from center line out, but near center, and it's tricky to know how much it'll curl, and they lost that one. And some of that is why the numbers are the way they are for the two thirds. Both of them have struggled. There's been a little bit of ice, a little bit of weight, a little bit of everything. But in particular for Beth Iskew, those hits normally a strong part of her game. And that has really been a part where she struggled in this game so far. The player numbers brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Yeah, because it was going to be right in front of it, though. It just hit, yeah. it's just hit stick. We just hit that stick right now. If we do that, then she's making some. Play right, but on she'll that. leave us a double because she'll be right there. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. Nine five. 
Six of one here for sure. You could throw the guard. You're sitting two. I'm not sure. Like you can't really throw a guard. No, Dangerous if you miss it. In front of it. You can, Which has happened no, quite a bit today mm. for New Brunswick. It had pretty good weight, but the line has just been a little bit off. Yep. Yeah, over curls. No, I don't think we want to do that because we just leave her possible. Be careful where you so roll here, though. Yeah. Okay. I think, if, I think nosing it would make more sense than rolling into the pile and giving Heather some backing. Back to what Charlie you said on the timeout was: uh, Are you trying to steal? You're trying to force, no, and now they're no. trying to force. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Yeah, little. Big That's rotation fine, won't fine. grow much. I didn't just sat right there. I don't know what you could have done with that, but yeah, I don't think she was sitting in. into this. But did, what do I make it? That's an set up. Not bad on that. Can't hit it too thin though, because we no. want to make sure this three one quarters. Stays. Yep. So what are you throwing? Normal? Normal. Okay, looks good. I like it. So be careful here. Three quarters on the high side. I think you might lose that red one, Linda. You almost have to hit it dead on or I see a broom. Roll the other way would make more sense. Less. She tap a rock here. There'll be three yeah, yellow ones in the three ring. Three quarters. And roll our shooter that way. Okay. We're gonna jam, but it's re-jamming regardless. I think less, Beth. Okay. Kind of wait. Normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, at first, I thought right, they were talking about hitting the other here. side. Nice so uh, it is definitely a change, and they have to be careful how much they hit. Are they trying to hit in the center line side? I think so yeah, now. Yeah, I yeah. thought they were talking the other way at first. First. One, two, and there it goes out the back. And Team Canada sitting two. Good. She has she that did. spirit. <laughs> That's great. That she didn't think the double would go. She thought it would jam, but it was there all day. It was just where you're going to roll your throne rock to not set up a double. And she did a pretty good job. Back there After directing course. traffic, <laughs> the yellow ones went. I hate that when they show me. <laughs> okay. Here, more ice, because it's right on that. Yeah. 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 Tough double here. You could hit the uh, one that's closer to the T so line and roll in tough. behind. Mm. It would leave a short run back, but you might get a mistake. This roll one's behind tough. Her and she's got a real short. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Kind of weak. Feel. Okay. You got it. Just a hair less. Just a hair less. <laughs> Half a rock, well, I don't think we'll make it. So you have to hit this pretty thin on the uh, on the high side. Whoa. Yeah! In a five-five time. Whoa, whoa. Andrea Crawford and her last. All on its own. One and then across the top. Ooh. And it rolled just far enough to sit third shot. Well, the cheers here in Kingston for Rachel Holman out of the Ottawa Curling Club, who will open with a convincing. 8-1 win over Newfoundland and Labrador, Stacy Devereaux. <laughs> Holman and the team expecting lots of uh, family, friends. She's played in this area many yeah, times, nice going and back and to a, a junior. 95 is good. It's one of those sucker shots for Andrea. She had to throw it really hard and she had to hit it thin, a little outward motion, and boy, oh boy. Heather could actually... Uh, could almost have drawn for three if that had rolled just a little bit less. Got got very got lucky. What a thin tip. Get away with it. Wow, so it is a draw for two. Kind of a crazy end. It went back and forth so many times. Mm. They need help. 15. A little more, Jeff. You got it. You got it. Good choosing, girls. Good choosing. Good. Two. 
Two it is. That's what you want. It's the even ends and Canada. And if any champions will take a 7-5 lead. Well, it's time now for the m and Meat Chops Final End Challenge. Right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to the 2014 World Curling Championships, the Junior Curling Championships in Flims, Switzerland. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card. All participants will get an M&M discount right after the game, but not before we give you the secret word. Go to finalend.ca. We have another final. And Jill Shume from Maidstone scored two. There's a steal. That big steal of three in the seventh leads to a 7-2 win for Saskatchewan. And Jill Shume as she makes her debut in the Scotties over Kerry Galusha from the Yellow Knight Curling Club. Team Canada, the defending champions. And Heather Nedowin, they get two in the eighth. So here in nine, New Brunswick and Andrea Crawford. She will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Yellowstone. We are short. Okay. Good. Fifteen two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two beauties by Laney again, and uh, nice game out of her as usual. It makes it so tough to generate some points when you've got that one out in front you can't Let's hit because of the free way. guard zone. I don't like that. Let's go here. I like that. Okay. Well, there's no doubt what your goal is this end if you're Andrea Crawford. You need a deuce and everybody has a different approach, but you really need to be thinking before the end starts how you want to do it. You're pretty sure about the sequence that'll lead up to this particular spot. So you have to decide if you're going to make a play to the center or to the wings. And I think in this case, this is a good call. Yeah, they go right around it. And a lot of teams used to throw that second corner guard. If they weren't perfect, it might set up a double corner guard takeout. So this should bury no problem. I love to talk to Jody after the game, Vic. I, I think that's a slower stone. They've had a couple that just, they've just nonchalantly at the hog line. All of a sudden, it's life or death to get it in the rings. Does the job, though. They're going to have to peel a guard. And they just got it to bite. You know, again, if you're not familiar with the, the process, the teams arrive Thursday. Friday is all practice. And you get to throw stones, you get to match the stones, you get to know the stones, you should yeah. know the stones. <laughs> and then, of course, they have the, uh, they start the hot shots. And that's why I think sometimes we, we wonder why okay. when you get to the first game, you wouldn't know yeah. that that stone is a bit of a problem. You don't have a lot of time mm -hmm. in the actual practice part where you could do some real rock matching, either throwing and timing or however you do it your best. Uh, probably you get a little better look in the hot shots of what the stones are doing, but that's yes, not necessarily four. the set yes. that you get to play in your first game. You're kind of bouncing around. So often it does Real take the first day yep. to really get yep. the book on Real something. Yeah, you need 15 minutes of sheet, and you're trying to match both colors in that 15 minutes. So sometimes you just don't get it right. And what you just heard there was two other commentators cuffing me. One, one one way, and then one the other yeah. way. Good that you picked yourself yeah. off the ground. Yes, I did. Got the headset yeah. back yeah, on. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Just let me get the carpet hey. lint out of my. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go nine. What? You had seven, eight. You had Let's an eight, eight on your feet. Time for Vic to warm the car up. Isn't yeah, it? I think so. Yeah. We don't need Vic here. No. Oh. It's no. Really nice here. Everything's very And we very don't need close. Vic here. That was a good point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I meant to drive. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's it. Trying to hit and roll. Hard. Jessica go, 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 Bear. Another missed draw by uh, New Brunswick. It's just a little light again. Getting a little claustrophobic in here now. If we played nose. Yeah. You're going to be in front of this one. Just a hair. Just a hair on this side. 
Who's yeah. play that too? No, I think I like Nose. Well, you're just gonna be guarding this though. We can roll both this way, Danny. Okay. Let's try that. Nine and a half. to hang around. We're gonna, we might tap that red in. Yikes. Okay. That will, will uh, huh, not front, be a good front. result. It's a little kind of a positive release putting that big rotation on it and uh, gave it that little shove to get the rotation and shoved it inside out. The like the tap? About four yeah. or five inches wider than she wanted to be at the far end, and uh, now there's oh, only one yellow in play. They got a few options. That's not bad. Yeah, but it's hard to get rid of that. Capio it that way. E. <laughs> okay, let's try and tap this. I think I like that. Freeze okay, tap. Okay, so. I was doing 14 and a half. 14 Six, three, seven. And a half. Does that look like enough for ice? Yeah. Yes. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Right to the stick. Let's go. Crisp release. Okay. 14 and a half. Beth is really good about making sure she's set and using her technical cues to get to, to that trust position. And she gets that help from Jessica saying a little tight about the release. The but Mine's definitely good. if you're sitting there easy, pondering easy. the ice and not Mine's sure good. that it's in the right spot, you do something no, funny no, no, with no. the release. So be no, no, really no, no, no. set that when you're ready to throw. Lots of line. Split. Yeah, we're going to let it get to it no, as no, much as come. we can. Oh, sit, Betty. Betty. Okay, good shot. <laughs> Next what was shot. that? 13, seven. 13, seven. I don't mind this. What about the other one? That or you can play that double. That's not bad, is it? Well, what do we think? I don't mind this though. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ten. The only thing with this shot is you need to roll. If you hit it, let's say, dead on, obviously it's a white open hit to sit three, and it might set up a yellow double. That's what Heather's trying to do. She's trying to eliminate all the yellows here with a two-point lead. You need to roll here. Yeah, it's two dramatically different thought processes. Mm -hmm. The double at center line is okay. Make the double roll away. You're sitting second and third. If you get a mistake, you might have a good chance for a deuce. This is a totally different approach if you're going to play the hit mm -hmm. and roll. So, uh, there was a little question about which one to play, but you really have to think through what it is you're trying to accomplish. Really hard. Really hard. Whoa. 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 Wow. Betty. Boy, it's a tough day. <laughs> tough day for Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca throws very, very soft weight, and uh, that's okay, made her such a good player in our province. But on this okay. stuff, they really move. And uh, you, nice you see Danielle missed one wide a minute ago in a little two different releases. And it's tough to, for the skipper to get the broom in the right spot. And that's half the battle. So here she Nine is. They, her yeah. nickname is Betty. Yes. Easy Beth yeah. Iskew as we play in the ninth. Whoa. Team Canada without last draw. Hard! Right up, right up, right up, right up. Whoa. Oh. And avoids the tick to sit three without. Scared me. Good call by Good. Oh, she hits three. hard. I kind of like just a, a little bump. I was like, ooh. I know, I saw you soft. Uh, they're a foot above the tee. So either we freeze it yeah. or you bump it back here. Yeah, that's what I mean. You want to bump, so Is throw back eight? Again? Yeah. What? Is your... I don't mind the freeze back? either. It's whatever you prefer. I just did the first one badly. Go down and talk to her. We don't have a ton of time. I think we bump it. I like that, Andrea. That's fine. Same. Let's make it, like... Don't, don't have to be shot rock yep. here. They're, they're trying hard for the, uh, the deuce. You, you could be thinking blank at this point, too. 
freeze one in there. Hope Heather blasts everything out of there. Then you hit and maybe possibly blank the end. But with three red in there, it's Back difficult eight. to blank this late in the end. Back eight. Rebecca Atkinson. Go. Oof. And now a little flip in behind. It just feathered that stone center line. Great Top shot. 12. Good shot. Okay. Let's go for the normal. So, normal? Okay. Makes uh, Heather throw a little tougher so. shot than a normal hit. It has to be pretty precise straight back. Heather knows this spot so well. They've had quite a few down here. Normal? Normal. Okay. Good thing for Heather, a very little distance between yeah. the rock top 12 and the one in the Let's top go, four. Got that nice here. normal here. I'd like to hit it on the uh, right hand side, if anything. If you hit it, if you cross it a bit, the yellow might go back onto that red that was just tapped behind the T line. So we keep it on the pro side here. Skip stones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come up, run it back. And hey. she'll catch it on the way by. And the shooter will hang around. As soon as we laid a brush down. Is it three? Honestly, your EQ heads, I swear to God, are going in that spot. For in sure. That spot. <laughs> I heard the This is the benefit of the I short too, distance it. between. It wasn't the perfect angle. It was right. a little bit of an angle yeah. instead of yeah. right yeah. back. So I didn't know it was but that much. Got enough of it. Mm. Like, kudos I got eight and a half on that one, so. Oh, that's good, that's good. I just, I really wanted to hit it high side just to make sure. Oh, that I wanted to nut it. Oh, I know, yeah. So, I thought that would It have... could come, no. It had to be fun to curl with Heather, and right? she's, <laughs> she's so into it. Have to motivate the other three for sure. Well, she is, as Vic said, she has that Mine's enthusiasm nice. and it's contagious. Back floor, back eight. Back do you have to come back to this? Do you have to put this right on the face? I think so, Vic. It's the only way to uh, create some uh, some more danger for Heather. We gotta go. Go if you have to. So trying to draw this down to the stone, which is back eight foot. Talked about the key for this game for New Brunswick was for Andrea to have her draw weight. That's not far off, but when you think of the difference of being top eight versus back eight, it's much simpler shot now for Heather Nettowin. Yeah. So what weight do you want to throw? Control. Control? Okay. This will come up here, hey? Just a hair less, yep. Uh, not much less, yep. Okay. Just control. I'd love to hit it almost dead on and protect that back one, but the main thing is get rid of it. You'd hate to be a little aggressive with your line call and have it cross over and jam it. So the two point lead is just removal of the yellow. from Peters and Mayer. And they did. They got That's away good. with it. They yeah. held it enough. Oof. Oof. Great brush. Nice. <laughs> that works. close, but works. Yeah. works really good. Let's go quickly over to uh, Manitoba PEI in a 6-6 six, six tie. Kathy? Well, PEI has done a really good job at replacing Manitoba stones. What, what they have not been able to do is to group the stones to allow Suzanne Burt to make a double on her final stone. Couldn't roll that way, so it's a wide open hit for Jennifer and a chance for two and a two point lead coming home. The other stone is uh, yep. corner frozen, Whoa. back 12. Whoa. Final oh, stone no. coming up. Clean. No. No. Oh, oh. For Andrea Crawford. Oh. So there's the two for Manitoba to take the two-point lead coming home. Down by a couple. This is a draw against three. Needs full eight foot with her last. One yellow? One yellow it is. Back four for New Brunswick in the ninth. But Team Canada.
have the lead. They'll also have the hammer when we come back. Well, a lot of Ontario champions passed, and Merklinger, of course, out of Ottawa, now runs uh, the uh, CEO of Own the Podium, uh, Marilyn Bodo, two-time Canadian, two-time world champion. Patty McKnight, of course, part of Van Merklinger's uh, team those uh, many years. Lorraine Lang, those glory years with Heather Houston, winning the two-time Scottish champion of Thunder Bay as we celebrate uh, some of the Ontario champions this week. Ontario's last championship, interestingly enough, was Marilyn Bodo back in 1996. Ontario has only won the Canadian Women's Curling Championship four times. Mine's as we good. welcome you back to Whoa. Kingston. Seven. We go to the 10th. And Team Canada has the one-point lead. And they also have the last draw. Heather Nedewin has the hammer playing the redstone. No. Oh. I mentioned last end, Linda, that uh, I'd like to talk to Jody after the game, see if that's a slow rock. It happened to her again with the come around and has grouped those two yellows together. At this point in time, it's, they're good rocks for cover, but it's an easy double later in the end. That's exactly what Heather's going to do with her next chance. And it's why Heather played the shots the way she did. First guard was up, the tick was attempt not even made. It wasn't touching the rock. so. Then the yellow guard comes up. Because the double's so easy, Heather doesn't even worry about attempting anything on the front of this stage and played the come around. Yeah, line seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eight. Eight. Oh, whoa, no, then. nine. No, no. She's no. still a nine. That's a lot of weight. Well, it's time now for the m and Meat Shop's final end challenge, and the secret word is meals. So right after the game, go to finalend.ca, uh, finalend.ca, pardon me, and enter that secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to the 2014 World Junior Curling Championship in Flims, Switzerland. That secret word is meals. of the two of them but hung around they could have hit it a little thinner a little more curl rolled that red a little farther off the pay dirt it. It gives Andrea a chance to use that rock I like a three yep Good spot for it. They'll attempt on the Team Canada side to make contact with both of the guards. Gives you a little better angle, doesn't it? If they, they peel the red now, the yellow one's closer to that center line. You're, you're creeping the guard closer to the button area. No, 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 no. Come up. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So now you have to be careful because the guard's in a pretty nice spot. You do not want right to here? set up a double. Yeah, yeah, I like that. This is where the pressure's on the player to get it far enough away, but still over that hog line. So do you think this side's heavier than this side? Okay. That side so. wasn't heavy. It'd be an interesting okay. finish here. You know, with the one buried now, you keep protecting here and kind of delay any opportunity for Heather. And then when Andrea's first one or second one goes around with the O-turn, sinks the second one buried. Possible chance to steal two.
Rebecca Atkinson has brought her numbers up a little bit. Just Linda, over she's off. now at 65 percent. We're okay. over. Okay. That's good, Becky. Good. Shot. Now the only problem with it is it's not guarding the good guard. Mm. That long one's Kill. not going to do a lot. Let's go, Bethy. We're going to try the double peels, which is great if you make it. But I agree with you, Linda. The one that's going to hurt them at this point in time is the one closest to the ring. If they miss this double peel, it will give uh, Andrew Kelly and New Brunswick a chance to make a better guard. Maybe they won't miss the double peel. Beth is <laughs> yeah. They're hoping. Hard. 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 One. Now, oh, and then she just jammed it. All right. So there are two out there now. Yes. Oh, well, I said I wouldn't have played it, but no. uh, that was a pretty bad result, even so. Uh, okay. Leaving the We're two guards in a halfway. spot where Andrea can really make it messy. If we go halfway, they're coming around on us. But I guess we go tight. tighter. No, because if we go tight, let's just run it. So, well. Well, let's play off what we've uh, just heard from. Uh, Rebecca Atkinson, if we leave it short anywhere, do you think Team Canada would would go yeah, around now to get there first? Okay. I doubt well, it, knowing, knowing Heather Netto, and you have to know who you're playing. Well, Some teams might, but I I, I doubt two. it. If this was just over the hog line, you might see Heather make a play at the two. yellow one, but yeah. this guarded at all, I think you're going to see yeah. Heather yeah. move yeah, it. Yeah, you got to then. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's the part of the strategy that's okay. hard to teach. Yeah, you have to oh, read the opponent. That's you know what what are their strengths and we, we know Heather loves to run them in here and try to make multiple rocks go away to make her last shot easier. Thanks. We've had the advantage of scouting her quite a bit last year at the uh, Canadians and the world level. I think we got to peel it into this one. This is the side we need to open Kay. up, right? Yeah. Peel. Go All of a sudden, it's a good looking end here for New Brunswick. Fabiscu yes. missed with her first peel attempt. Yes. 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 Run it back. No. What she got. And she'll kill the Team Canada stone at the back of the four. Opens up that intern side, but it is New Brunswick sitting two without Last Rock here in the 10th. Now that's an ouch. <laughs> oh, oh, is it ever? Straight guard on the uh, the top yeah. yellow here. I think a little higher than where Becky's was. Okay. Do you think? Or do you like? Do you like a little higher than Becky's? Do you like higher than Becky's, or do you like? This re the red guard out in front oh, there is is, like is part of the yeah. problem too. Like you can it, this rock right Same here that, that stops any chance for uh, Nedowin to get in this way. So that's eliminated. Well, so the only way Nedowin wouldn't well, yeah, get in is on the other turn, and Andrea's obviously going to plug that right there. Big trouble here for yeah, Team Canada. What do you want for a two? There's the danger Ten? playing the double peel again, Linda. Okay. Line's really nice. Pretty close to yours. Just two. Right Whoa. here. Whoa. Easy. Line's good. Line's really Andrea nice. Crawford. And her curl, first, right here. sitting two yes. without, go. down by one. Hard. Go. Really hard. You gotta finish it. Go! 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 go. go. Hole? Yeah, there is, Vic. There really is. The uh, there's no communication there. The uh, the front, the, the vice and Becky was yelling where she wanted it, but I didn't hear anything on the front end. And, if they don't know it was that soft, they would have realized it needed brushing to get enough curl. First end, we heard her, Andrea, say to the front end, I need to hear what yeah, you're saying. It's been the yeah. whole game. You're yeah. right, Vic. Yeah. 
And it makes a dramatic difference. If that had traveled another three Four, feet eight. in distance, it would have given another six inches of curl, cut off the hole. But uh, chance for Heather to clean things up now. Oh boy, and, right. just, and the worst part about the, the hole is it leaves the, the side that allows this a possible double here. If Heather throws it hard enough, hits it thin enough, she can actually make them both go away. Heather Nettowinden, her first. That guard just Please. didn't come over Whoa. enough. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. The opening is there. The hole Whoa. is there. Whoa. Whoa. Mayor yeah. Peters, yeah. here it goes Whoa. and over now. It needs a sit. <laughs> T-line, edge of the button, sitting That's one. Cool. Great shot. Great shot. You saw the deep breath that Heather took before she threw it. She was playing the hit and roll the whole way. Gets it to be shot rock. That is a beauty. That's in such a good spot. Well, we said when we first joins you today is that New Brunswick has called their second time out. She is shown time and time again. Those are those are big shoulders. She's carried this team again today. You can you can definitely get around the guard. You definitely over curl. You leave it. Yeah. Do you think I can? Oh yeah. Like around the wide guard. It's going to be the same shot she just played, but that's how you get to the button. The easiest. Do you think there's any way to drop past that guard and kind of? I think it gets on center. On center. No. You mean through the to hole? To touch center? No, round it and to touch center. It's not going to work that much. No. I think you, you got to do it though. You got to just get it on the button and make her come through the hole again. Okay. So you had there for your guard. Yeah, I think the same ice though. Yeah, I like it. Here you really can't throw a soft waiter through here uh, through the small opening because of the curl. It would over curl on you. So the only way to get shot rock is to go out wide come down here this way and plunk it in there and uh, as Charlie said it'll probably leave her the same shot but it's not a gimme it's not as it, Heather made it look easy but it's not an easy shot to okay, win or lose a game okay. but she has to have it here New Brunswick is down by one so she being Andrea Crawford needs to be the shot stone when this is done Final stone for the team from the Gage Golf and Curling Club. Needs to beat on the button. Parsons, DeSola on the brush. Atkinson calling line. Here comes Atkinson. Needs to bend. Needs to grab the button. Needs to be the shot stone. And I don't think so. A wonderful try. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's, I don't think it's yellow. No, the oh, yeah, shake of the head good. from Andrea Crawford. She knows it. You want to play the same yeah. shot? Beth, <laughs> yeah. call a timeout. Timeout. Well, look so, Team Canada will call it's their time. first yeah. timeout. Did they stop our time? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm looking at the blue. This as long as the blue ring is correct. It's us, is it not? And the third of four games now over, and Manitoba has come back. Jennifer Jones wins at 8-6 over PEI. And it was a big steal of two in the fifth on a complete flash. On a double by okay. PEI okay, and uh, Suzanne Burt that turned okay. that goal around, that game around. And 8 6 is your final. It doesn't look close to me. No. And if it's not close, well, Linda, to your point, the only way you can uh, make this worse is to throw this rock. Yeah, I'm a ever, little surprised. You ever throw, they're asking last week, have you ever ticked the top yellow onto and the second board. yellow? That yellow comes Plus back and board. raises the red. You, you never know. Yeah, that's the same ice you had. It's a little less, and that's okay. Less weight? No, same weight. 
It's less ice. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's go, Hooch. Let's go. Let's nail it. So final stone. A little more. Whoa, 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 whoa. We believe whoa, whoa. that Team Canada is whoa, sitting one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean, clean. Clean, clean. Through yeah, the hole yeah, one more yeah. time. Whoa, whoa, yes. Whoa, whoa. Clean. Got the stone again. Yes, for two to put an exclamation point on it. And the defending champions, Heather Nedowin, out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton, will win it. The Hi, final Sam. nine Hi, six. Listen, enjoy the Oilers game tonight with Dad. Hi, everybody in Sherwood Park. Hey, and everybody you. at home. To complete draw one on day one of the Scotties here in Kingston. The 2013 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotty Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the exceptional women of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts.